Temple mm -hmm. of Amber, you fought some skulls that exploded the room a couple of times. That was great. You're now in the room. <laughs> what a place to be, Disney XD. Yeah. <clears throat> room existing power. It's time to do an explore. Yay! So yes. we already went down and got that staff, if I remember correctly. So let's go up. A uh, very go. ominous upward. Oh man. Heavily cracked floor. Very scary pathway. Hmm. I'll take point because I'm lighter. You move up the hallway. There are arrow slits off to the left. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same temple you've seen so far. There's a door over here. It's not the biggest it's door. It's a small door. It's a very nice door. It's so and suddenly the floor cracks if we fall down. <laughs> uh, it's not that cracked. You can definitely see like small holes going down, but this floor's thick enough that even in its cracked state, it's fine. As you pass there by the be. door, you head on down. Oh, we open the door. Is it, you is open the door locked? Door. Heroically, I assume. Ba -ba -ba. What heroism to open the door? Oh, man. Oh, there's lights versus here. There's some, there's some hanging lanterns. Like, bowls with chains on them. There's magical lights flickering within them. There are many bass reliefs in the walls, made of wizards with spellbooks, sheathed wands, and more. Uh, there's an obsidian lectern over at the end, behind which is a large slab of black slate, which for some reason has been hung from the ceiling. Okay, it's an auditorium kind of place. Mm -hmm. Benches are made of red marble and have old, dusty-looking pillows on them. Mm. Interesting. Mm. All right. What's everyone's right. passive wisdom score? Passive perception score. Fourteen. Zero. <laughs> What's it? Passive perception score. <laughs> uh, Which is 10 your modifier. <laughs> I forgot yeah, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I attack. always roll one when I roll perception. My normal perception is 12. 5, so it would be 15, I guess. Yeah. Minus 9. If no one beats 17, then nothing about this room strikes you as ordinary. Except maybe the fact that someone decides to play red off. marble when the whole place is amber. Uh, couldn't stick to the theme, could they? <clears throat> well, maybe they couldn't find and burn marble. Bad level design, minus one point. The place smells a bit smoky, though, but you don't see anything burnt. Oh, oh well, there's not always anything going on in here. Too bad, so sad. Well, <clears throat> there's the. What was it called? Lectern? Yes, an obsidian lectern. Mm. Well, maybe there's reading material there. I don't know. Well, you can't tell from here, since the lectern is in such a way that you can't see the book or any contents it has from. Well, any angle but the speaker. Hmm. Well, I'll, uh, since everybody else has uh, just milled out of the room, I'll just go take a peek. Go take a peek. You find peek, take. a book, because what else would you expect to find on a lectern? The book is kind of curiously made. It has uh, an amber cover, and the mm. pages don't look like they're made out of paper. They're still thin and foily, but... It doesn't feel like your usual papyrus parchment stuff. Huh. The writing itself glows with an odd light. Ooh. <clears throat> I found the Book of Amber. Yeah. Um. Oh. Well, since you speak giant, you can actually read the book. It seems to mostly be sermons and, and, and th oh. theory crafting. Oh. 
Well, lucky me. If you happen to know a wizard who likes, I don't know, learning things that aren't necessarily spells, <laughs> might fetch a pretty penny. Mm. If maybe someone well. likes eclectic collections. All right. Well, okay. I'll. I just yeah. Well, this could be interesting to someone. Maybe <laughs> you're your friends yes. outside, constantly pacing around. <laughs> I'll stuff the book of Ember into my into my backpack. Yeah. Oh no! And so your friends are pacing around outside the room. Suddenly, you hear heavier footfalls. Heavier footfalls, Ooh. and then suddenly a door crashing in. Oh! I oh, hello, dear. <laughs> Leap over the benches. You leap over the benches, but you are not yet present. You notice that the floor is starting to crack and crumble under the pressure of a big man. Oh, it looks like we know it's been cracking the floor. Yeah, it might be able to hold like normal people, but a giant statue is a little much. I need some initiative from all the sexy boys and all the sexy girls. And everything in between. Non sexy people may apply. Oh, does the giant... Sorry, I'm not attacking, I just want to open the menu to read this description and... Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me try to actually roll this with advantage, like it kind of doesn't seem to want. <clears throat> yeah, that's one roll for some reason. Hmm. Ek Sire. Ogre! Did you get the right. I hear a big noise. You also and hear I... stone grinding together. Yeah. yeah. So I grab the book and I just start running for the door. Uh... That's. You pop Ooh, up, hello. You see the creature, and you set your targeting towards them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just run out. Yeah. This large creature uh, looks aggressive as much as its faceless expression allows. It is made entirely out of amber, and it's slightly translucent. Right. I, uh... <laughs> I, uh... Roll, roll my electric rage at it. So, zap. Electric rage. Uh, ignore the rage damage there. Fascinating. <clears throat> uh, it gets the Megadex save. Which it sucks at, so... It still resists. Oh. Rolled a critical success there. Do you wish to do anything else on your turn? Well, I uh, go for the whole reckless attack thing against this yeah! statue. So, as a decide to let it have it. Uh, that's a that's a nice whiff. Good job. That as a solid blow, kapoof. Luckily, your weapon is magical, or would not cut through such tough material with ease. Hmm. Just everything crackling with energy, electricity here. However, it gets advantage too. It will gladly make friends with you. Um. Mm. Oh. Oh. Well, it can also just uh, do one of these. Oh. Um, what? Pat. Oh, actually, you know what? It's gonna move over here. Uh, I want ogre, scale, Kira, and Pan all to make me that sexy DC seventeen wisdom saving throw. Oh, please. Good blam. Ogre, you feel sl slower. I just no. need Scamos. So slow. <laughs> can't take reaction speed is out. Scamos gets one second. It's turn. Scamos is a wise boy. Well, Scamos can hold. Kira and the other guy are not looking so good. This effect lasts for one minute, uh, and at the end of every turn. 
So you're going to lose out on some attacks. Kira, you can only move or take an action. So you can't properly disengage here. Uh-oh. Uh... I guess I will slowly swing my short sword. Seventeen. Well, is your short sword magical? Uh, not at all. Then it takes piddle, piddly damage. You probably chipped your sword sooner than you're gonna hurt this. Scamos, you've unaffected by its magic, but you can sense its menacing aura. I mean, it broke the door, so... So I'm just gonna move up to it. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I wanna hex it. You hex it? Yeah. Can it be hexed? Mon yes. It is not particularly resistant to being hexed. And then I'm gonna use uh, my uh, flame tongue. Oh. Um. Show me the flames. Yeah. It is. Okay. And I'm going to take again. Mm, solid hit and a solid hit. Swingy, Dang. swingy. Now that flame tongue is paying its own gosh darn dividends. The creature is looking as if it is missing half its hit points already. I feel like my turn passed me by. Did it now? Where are you on the turn order, then? You're nowhere. Yeah, I'm not. That's the problem. Well, that's probably why. Well, you can take your yeah. turn, then, Netta. <sighs> well, I mean, it's like... This say construct means it probably doesn't take precision damage unless it does in this edition. Uh, in this edition, everything takes uh, sneak attack damage. They remove that uh, limitation. Oh. Well, nah, do I even try to close in in case it wants to do some area attack or I just use my shard bow? Mm. Sneak attack, yes. Get your sneak attack on this attack, yes. Hot ziggity, what a hit. Ogre, nice. it's your turn, you only get one attack, and you only get to take one action of any type. Hey. Mm. Skipped over me. Yeah. Oh yes, Pan, it was your turn last time, you go. What do you want to do? Uh... Uh... Uh, let's give it the old-fashioned, you know, the old hasty ogre tactic. Uh, also yeah. that it dispels the effect. Yeah, it cancels out slow. Whoop! Because if you go on slow and then you go twice slow speed, that's normal speed. Yes. Ogre's back to normal. Do you wish to move? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a few steps back so that I don't get... Slammed in the face. You do get slammed in the face because you are retreating. It's a proc attack off opportunity. But he misses. Ah! <clears throat> Ogre, you're back to normal. For for a second, Whoop. you felt slow there, but... Hmm. Hmm. It's, uh, this is a weird, weird place. Uh, right. I'm going to try to smash his leg. You slow me down, I'm gonna slow you down. Or smash into its leg it goes. Mm. Mm. Ooh, what a set of solid blows. It looks like it's about to crumble. But you're quite sure that if this thing is gonna like, proper fall over, it's probably gonna take the whole floor with it. Yeah, I need to... Need well, who wants to step into the auditorium first? You are hit for 44 damage in total. Big slams! Uh, That's some good damage there, though. If you have any resistances or reductions, please apply them. Who's being hit by this? You. 
Mr. Ah. Rebels attacker. Okay, well, that's two. So that's. Well, well, that's 22 bludgeoning since I am resistant <laughs> to bludgeoning. We'll just say that you recklessly <laughs> dodge one, then you get the full blow of the other. Eh, well, that's technically see. what happens, in in a sense. Kara, the amber golem is looking like it's about to fall over. Oh, well, taking even less. 18 damage. Hmm. Nah, nah. All right, uh. One solid blow away from falling apart. And I'm going to. Give it a bappin'. You miss. No. Oh. You hit it, but you hit like a solid chunk, so if anything, you just pushed some rock back into place. Skamos. Your friends are all bapping this large, rather pretty golem. It almost feels kind of bad breaking it apart. It came at you first. This is fair game. Cool, so uh, let's continue with that. And with that, with a mighty smash, the armor golem falls backwards as your flame tongue cuts it. You watch the floor nice. crumble away, and a hole appears. Dexterity saving throw from everyone who was adjacent to the golem. Oh no! <clears throat> first, uh, I want to heal myself with text curse. Yeah, sure. Uh, what level do you it. Seven. Plus five. Oh, I'm full life again. Nice. Cool. Scamos, Dex. Yeah. Dex, Dex, Dex. There we go. Oh, no. Well, K-Braid rolls so nicely. We'll just say that he manages to grab onto you as you almost fall down with the rest of the chunks. Which, for some reason, turn pitch black the minute they, like, fall below the floor. And land below. Hmm. <clears throat> There's something mysterious going on down there. Spooky. Like, even if you have any sort of dark vision, it doesn't seem to make the parts any brighter. Hey, Ogre, you wanna roll... ...the hmm? save? Ogre has rolled a save. You rolled a 15. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, um... May I throw Scamus rope? The Scamus <laughs> is being held on by by by, by uh, our good friend Kira. You, you just need to be pulled up. Okay, well... Huzzah. You've done it. You've broke the floor. We that we little save protrusion, that, day. This protrusion on the walls also on that side, it, it's hidden by this, but it's still there. It's just hanging like over nothing now. It looks kind of weird. Mm. Well. Be careful, kids. Oh. <clears throat> kids and cadets. You so, can do as you wish. So continue to have a rope in case anyone wants to try to grapple down there. Um... There's no reason to go yeah, down there. There's a staircase right over here, and that area is accessible from there, so. Right. It's like there's a tunnel under here. It's on a different map. Hmm. Should I heal Logo with the vampire swarm? What? Think about healing Ogre with vampire swarm. You can do as you wish. Uh, is the next thing you can expand? Yeah, I wanna expand two charges so that would be a uh, Kyovan's spell of level four. Boom. That means. Just put, put, put your paws on him and give him a rub rub. Yeah. You're healing me with vampire paws. Hey guys, wait up! <laughs> this room that you are now in is uh, very much collapsed. Who knows what was supposed to be here. But there's just bare stone. The amber walls are like... They just sort of break apart, and then the rock, the natural stone of the mountain, appears. It's a funky look. So I healed Ogre for 27. Alright then. Well, someone Thanks. just give us that Smash Ultimate Ogre joining at the battle or something. Feels appropriate for such a good heal. 
Oh, almost back to full. Dang. Oh, feels good. Hey. You appear in a small balcony. There is no ledge or anything to stop you from falling down if anything were to go wrong or the ledge were to break. But you can see the statue from here, too. Hmm. You're 30 feet above the floor, so there's 10 feet of the statue left going up. Jesus. Can I or see anything interesting about the statue from here? Uh, well, you can't see its face. It's like shrouded in magical darkness. Hmm. Magical darkness kind of yeah. eeps out of it, too. It seems to flow down, sort of like a fog, but then vanishes halfway down. And any of you Eat. got some magical light? Um, no way. Yeah. Hmm. This looks like advanced darkness kind of light. So, that's <laughs> yeah. also range touch, so you'd have to... Well, I'd, I'd like touch a rock and throw it. <laughs> right. The rock grows dim the second it touches the darkness. Then when it falls down, it grows dim when it lies on the floor. Hmm. <clears throat> so there's, to the best of your knowledge, some invisible darkness down there. Huh. Which, yeah, to be honest, awesome. is kind of neat. Good for puppet shows. Very peculiar. Hmm. What do we have here? As you head oh. on into room, into the next room, you find, well, bare stone, a lot of candlesticks on the floor. They still have candles in them and little wicks attached. Never used. Hmm. Uh, okay. There was, an, there was yeah. an obsidian statue over here, but it's, it's gone now. Hmm. Good. Hey, Kara, have you made your repeated save yet? Because you get the chance every round to end the effect. Wait, I can do that? Yes. Well, <clears throat> Kira's just going to be slow for the rest of the campaign. That's oh, no, so it's no. Way. Yeah, also time's out in a minute. Oh. <laughs> But since you're slowed down, mm. it technically only lasts for 30 seconds to your perspective. Hmm. Not a hidey hole here. Yep. It seems to be where our archers hung out at some point. I mean, you saw the uh, the hole from outside the arrow slit. There are yeah. a couple of like barrels, very long barrels. But Barrel. all you find inside of them are like dust and arrowheads. Hmm. Oh boy, dust. Oh, uh, I'll knock on the walls, see if there's any any, any hidden passageways here. Not in this room. Mm. Knock, knock. Knock. Mm. Knock on wood, which is a really weird good luck thing. <laughs> I'm wondering whether I want to make like a running jump to get onto the statue. If you want to rub on every wall, rub that's fine by me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. That's quite the distance. Quite you're better distance. off wall running. Oh, well, make a pit, pit stop on the statue. Yeah, you probably you have the muscle power to do that. Yes. Yeah. So, Viola, jump onto the statue's back. Whoop. Okay, that's that's Get pretty up easy. on that's the given. statue's back. However, jumping from the uh, statue to the statue over here will over require an athletics check since you don't exactly have exactly good standing. standing. Like, the statue yeah. is kind of awkward. awkward. Okay, so athletics. Yeah, you also don't really have like a really running have, like, start, a for this, start for this, so. Hmm. I'm also getting echo. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be mana. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I'll just. You jump on over. Jump on over. Whoa. You notice that the ground under you crumbles and feels very unstable, but after a second of shaking, it stops. Ah, hmm. uh, I'm gonna be looking at looking ahead. All right. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The gang decides to split up. <laughs> I'll follow up. Oh, what do we have I just here? need a wisdom saving throw from Ogre, and then we go back to the rest of the party. What do you want to do? Um, five. <laughs> well, I would like to uh, follow Ogre. 
Ah, yes, you can certainly do that. As I slowly sprint across the wall. I mean, you can pretend to be, like, doing cool wall runs. No one can tell that you're using your slippers. <laughs> if anything, wall running with slippers is more awesome. <laughs> Look at me. I don't to try. Who, who has to try here? You're on the other side. The ground does not seem to rumble as it did with Ogre. But you can run into the room if you wish. Hey, wait up. Can I get a wisdom saving throw from the person who's next to Ogre? <laughs> <laughs> cool, so what's the rest of the party doing? You watch your two teammates go and you don't hear anything from them ever again. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, there's nothing off in the room with the broken statue, I suppose? Um, if you rub your hands along the wall, who knows what you'll find? Maybe you'll find some dust. Let's oh, do boy. that then. As you run your hands along the wall, you do indeed find a scene. Oh, oh. It's a passage. And looking down the passage, you see a stairway going down. Eight. Yeah, let's not break up the path. <laughs> Yeah, I'm being invited to launch, so I will need to wrap up quickly. Oh no. Oh. Mm, I mean, not right now, it's just that, like, the. At, like, in two and a half hours, something like that, we are about to end in. Okay. Okay, so I keep thinking about the trope and pondering if. There isn't anything I... Yeah, that's why I hoped someone would wait on the other side, so that... <clears throat> well... Sure. I can take one person over with Tom Duster. I mean, I can fly. Yeah. Wow, what's even the point of me existing? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know of anyone existing. What is anyone show work today? <sighs> I mean, there's also always the trick with the bolt and the rope and I mean, the there's crossbow. Always, there's always the trick of walking all the way around. That's a neat party trick. Then we gotta go through a whole bunch of rooms that could possibly have things that will kill us. In How it. hard can it be? It's just like a, a 30, 40, 35 jump. It's not that hard. You just need 15 strength and a jump spell. Yeah, that that very useful spell. Oh no, actually your jump distance is tripled, so you only need 10 strength. Right. Ah. Well... You can wait as long as you want, but the the rest of your party ain't gonna show up. <sighs> Let's get across. Like Like I'm not good I'm not that good at jumping, but if you try to tie like, if I toss you a rope, and I tie it to the statue, and someone ties it to something on the other end, I can probably walk it. I mean, sure. Hmm. I <clears throat> you could shoot a grappling hook into one of the arrow slits, climb up, and jump over the rest of the distance. I don't know. You could have someone cast fly, and fly across one by one, like a fairy. Or some, you know, that's a rope here, and then it just swing across. Okay, well, time to lasso the statue's head and swing across. The statue does not appreciate yeah. this, but it cannot do anything because it's a statue. Can I get some acrobatics from the fool who wishes to try this? Hey, look, it's the one skill I'm actually pretty decent at. Actually, it's the one of the three skills I'm pretty decent at. 
Excellent. Should watch it beef anyway. You're on the oh, other no, side 19. now. You done it. Swoosh. Like Adam. a true buccaneer. Buckaroo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll, I'll take Scamless with me. Level 4. I mean, in that well, case, it's probably the smarter idea to enchant Scamless, because he's the... Well, whatever. You guys make it across. Yeah. I'll say I'll enchant both of us. As you all land on the floor at the same time, you probably quickly jump back up again into the air because uh, the ground is unstable as you all stand on it. Yeah. The place is oh, falling shit. apart in places. Pan. Let's wisdom. just go in here. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Everyone makes a wisdom save who enters this room. You get a wisdom save, and you get a wisdom save. Oh boy. Nope. You, you join your friends in gormlessly staring at the statue. Hooray! <laughs> Scamels, you, you join your friends to endlessly staring at the statue. Uh, wow. This is really where the is adventure fun. ends. Is this door open or can I open Yes! It? You can totally open this door. Hey, please do. It's a nice Ooh. room with food and lights. It's warm and comfy and cozy, and there's lots of food to eat. No, come join us for the pretty wave. <laughs> You should just go ahead and take a drink, because your friends ain't doing good. I so don't trust you. It's, oh, what's not to trust what's about this lovely trust. room? Uh. <laughs> now... Admittedly, wow, I have minus one to insight. Okay, I'm not even going to bother to try to roll. Now, admittedly, your friends are perfectly capable of telling you that they can't escape the statue and warn you. The spell does not prohibit that. Oh, it doesn't? It, the only you thing is you can't, move, you can't move away from the statue. Yeah, it would have oh. been nice for a heads up, fellas. You didn't try anything, oh. kids. Well, I didn't know that. I thought I was being, you know, charmed by this magnificent statue. I mean, Indeed. to be fair, most people don't know that you can blow up a room by throwing some flour into it. But that doesn't mean you can't. Mm. I know that. I knew that. Okay, so the only thing it is stopping me from doing is it's a, it's a reverse frightened from. effect, essentially. Okay. Well, I have a big sword. I have a big gun. You cannot intentionally attack the source of the spell, though, which is the statue. I have a big ego. <laughs> okay. That being said, it seems like seeing the statue is what triggers it. Wink, wink! That's your last hint, kids. I... But the sin. Close your eyes, kids. No, what? it doesn't stop the spell if you're already affected, but... Yeah, it's just... Shout out, don't look at the statue. Then. Okay, uh... I mean, the place kind of smells, like, you, you can't move away, but it's... There's there, there's corpses here that are, like, rotting. It's smelly here. You want to go away, but you can't. And so can, can you, like, come in here, make sure you cover your eyes, and then just sing in front of us multiple times until it falls over or something? Okay, I'm going to... Like cover it with myself, of course. Hmm. Maybe before we do something drastic. Yeah, I'm going to blindfold myself. I'm okay. And You're blind. then, yeah, I can see anything, so I yell to the people over there. Hey, give me some sand cues as to where you are. And then I walk in. You just run into oh, open. It's like the cheering game. <laughs> it's like everyone keeps shouting at you to come closer. Marco Polo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Warmer! Warmer! As you're stumbling closer, and make sure that everyone in this dungeon knows that you are great at Marco Polo. Yeah. Netta, you eventually <laughs> stumble over some bodies, past your friends. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. You're touching something that feels like feet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Very cold, okay, went... hard feet. Uh, getting colder. 
Okay, so yes, that thing. Smack that thing. There's a statue here, then. Uh, probably. It feels like stone. Okay, I have, <laughs> I have a hammer reasons. and some pythons. Pythons, yes. <laughs> I th pythons, this thing yeah. is made out of obsidian, so a sharp object will do just fine. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm just going to take the ham, like, I'm going to try to hammer the spike into it and hope it just kind of shatters. Well, since obsidian is glass and you are using the literal worst thing to use against glass, aka a hammer and python, the glass facing its worst enemy explodes, enemy. Oh. practically. Kaboom. <laughs> we get hit by glass shots, right? Everyone stops being fascinated. Heck yeah. Art has been defeated. <laughs> Truly, the, Truly the worst enemy of any good place. Yeah. Oh. Ugh, oh, I think it was That's disgusting. Kind of completely. <laughs> yeah, I mean the bodies on the ground are like emaciated and starving. Mm. Not yeah. the best way to go. Best Not very way heroic, way. at least. Heroic. Can so... we somehow investigate what kind of corpse it is? Um, is it fine can... for me to unblindfold myself, guys? Uh, I think yeah, so, yes. so. Yes. Yeah. So is no, it like need to go like that the whole dungeon? <laughs> Thank you, Neda, you're the best. <laughs> Thank so you. has it been like completely shattered or are there still some pieces left? Um there are many, many sharp pieces of obsidian. Is there any particular piece you would hope to recover or something? Well I was wondering like, if the head was still in one big chunk. Roll me a D twenty luck roll. I'm kinda of short, so I probably went for the bottom part of the statue. Yeah. Well we'll say that you struck it at the foot and it sort of cracked up from there. You know, the head might have landed on the soft cushion of the remaining parts. The head is in somewhat decent shape. Okay. okay. Could be worse. I break it. Break its ugly mug. It takes you a few hits, <laughs> and you look kind of sad at first, but that last hit really shatters it nicely. Take that, face. To be fair, a stock oh. really isn't made to break obsidian glass. <clears throat> uh, like, what are the bodies wearing? Oh. Yeah, like... Yes, you were inspecting... Like a good rogue thief, I'm going to give the <coughs> bodies an inspection. The bodies are wearing action. robes, but they are clearly been, they've clearly been looted. Their bags are left open. Uh, bottles are empty. Oh. And remaining nice. pockets okay. and such are also empty. Like, there's, there's a couple of slots for, like, vials, and there's only one vial remaining, and it's already empty. So somebody looted it who's immune to the statue. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe, maybe or they just made their wisdom save. Maybe someone like recruits people. undead. <laughs> mm, this is a suspicious, suspiciously small room. It's another one of those arrow slit rooms. Yeah. Time to check if there is a secret on the opposite side of the other secret door. Oh. <laughs> you find I like a closet. Symmetry, I love it. <laughs> kind of weird that someone would just put a ten-foot closet with nothing in it. Yeah, let's yeah. check if there's another secret door in the closet. Uh, I'd be knocking on the on the walls here. Just you meet a lich? No. <laughs> Ogre, you find nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> nice wall. <laughs> oh, that guy's even uglier. Then who? Okay. Then the statue. <laughs> the lich. Ooh is for for a lich like you usually imagine a lich with like ragged robes or like dark purple evil stuff this is a, a, a finely dressed skeleton if anything with a with a golden cane and bright red robes uh, it's not a human skeleton so sort of a mix between dragonkin and human if you'd had to guess a skeletal tail dressed in golden rings this guy looks fancy as hell fancy lad and he taps his cane three times and asks do i know you nope. would you like to I don't think so. Do I know you? The creature's head slightly tilts, as if to squint with its eyes. Why do you enter my room? This is my room, right? Uh, We're doing exploring. You do not explore a room someone's in. I know that much. Uh, we didn't know you were in here. You could have knocked. Well, the door was kind yeah, of different. But if you, nobody was in here, and we knocked, then can we enter? Very well. Is there anything else I can help the noble 
adventuring folk exploring places with? Yeah, do you know if there's any uh, artifacts we could find to help fight an immortal vampire? Hmm. That is an oddly specific question. Oh, you have an oddly specific enemy. And we're an oddly uh, specific adventure. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but I can't really help you. I'm afraid I seem to have forgotten most of everything. Oh, oh. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Is any more of this place yours, or is it just this room? I assume that since I am in this room, it is mine. Yeah, but um, that's is, a good outlook to have on life. But is the room outside also claimed by you, or would it have someone else that claims it as theirs? <sighs> I don't know. What? If... Okay, fair enough. So, um... So, guys, there's like a uh, nice laid table in the other room from this balcony, so... Oh. If it entraps me in some other way, make sure you don't just blindly go in and have a plan to pull me out. <laughs> you okay. So, uh, Mr. Leechman, do you have a name? A name? I probably have a name. Mm. But I don't recall it. Aww. How do you feel about the name Douglas? <laughs> Steve Leechman. That just feels, um... I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me. Like, that's fair, it's not a very good name. Good. Nice to see we can see. Well, since you don't know my name and can't really help me with that, why do you stay? Um, uh, just politeness to finish the conversation, really. Well, that's nice. Pretty much. You can't find good, polite people nowadays. Most of them don't even... Well, the few that I have seen have uh, raised their clubs before they decided to ask any questions. Oh, that's so uh, hard, right? So, how long have you been just uh, standing there? I assume a while. Mm -hmm. Did you check your belongings? Maybe something in here has your name on it or something like that? That sounds... That sounds... Logical. Where, where did you last see your memories? <laughs> <laughs> I assume... Check behind the couch. Hmm. <laughs> kind of scratches his chin. Hmm. Probably before I remember anything, really. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's a lich, no? He, he has some kind of spell book. This lich does not appear to have a spell book. Sad. Sad lich. <laughs> Big sads. Well, um, I mean, well. he clearly has some kind of negative effect on him. We don't have somebody who has some restoration spell, I don't think so. I have hmm. several. Have you? I think you either need lesser restoration or greater restoration. Yeah, greater for, for this kind of oop oopsies. I've only, I've only got lesser. You need okay. greater for this kind of oopsie. Ah. Oopsie, I deleted my mouth. Ah, beans. I don't know, you guys are, are staying outside the room like nice people, so, hey. Well, if we find any information about uh, a lich man person, we'll make sure to come back and let you know. Thank, thank you. Yeah. I did know Have there a nice was a day. door there, but nice to know there is. Yeah. It's very good to know you have an exit of your room. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Maybe there are some other exits in this room, who knows? Bye! Bye! Nada, you're in this nice room. What a nice room. Ah! It just makes you want to kick up your feet and have a bite. Oh. You're having lunch, lunch for dinner. Oh, there's all kinds. Mm. There's, there's, there's vegetables, meats, gravies, wines, exotic foods mm. like caviar, foie gras. 
Hmm. A coop did of grass. You... How did you call for grass now? Okay. People same... who can't speak French, horrible people. Faux grass. Okay. It's faux grass. Faux grass. <laughs> you know, fake yeah, grass. I'll... Like faux pas. Be... <laughs> yeah, fake grass. <laughs> Seeing how everyone else entered the room, I'm going to slap myself really hard and go out of it. All right. Ogre and Kira decide to have a sits, though. If they sits, they fits. Uh, yep. Does anyone else want to go for a sit? Uh, I'm just going to stand back and watch whatever happens. As your good friends decide to have a seat. Several Don't strange trust. figures manifest themselves. They too are oh, yeah. in a nice seat. Oh man, it's my favorite, Spectres. They are all having a lovely seat. Oh. Although they aren't oh. sitting, they're like floating above the chairs of anything. They oh. partake in food, but every time they grab something, it just seems to duplicate into their hands. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, all right it's, then. It's feasting revelry. Ah, uh, this is freaking Karazan. This is a strange place. One of them raises yeah, a particularly like... interesting uh, copper ewer, in which it demonstrates mm. a party trick as it pours it full of poison and then pours out what probably is wine. It's not the same stuff that he poured in. Oh. And he puts it back down, and everyone sort of cheers. They don't seem to be speaking any discernible language. They're just sort of ghostly muttering and mumbling. It's basically Simlish. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, is that picture actually there? Uh, it's physical. The, so the best you can tell. I'll grab it. Um... Everyone just sort of looks at you and goes, oh, are you going to do the trick? Is this, is this the sort of look you get? Uh, I pour some water into it. You notice that as you pour the water in, it turns sweet looking. It smells nice. Oh. Like wine. I just jug, jug it. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as all the specters cheer for thee. Huh. Uh, so it doesn't taste like poison. No, it tastes like some really nice wine. Well, it's nice. a good time. Uh, I stop. I mean... Oh, is there, how about the food? The food is great. Mm. Isn't uh, alcohol poison? <laughs> kind of? Uh... If you're yes. being pedantic, yes. <laughs> it's, just, it's just exchanging one for another, really. Okay. Maybe it's continuously yeah. and constantly turning the wine into more wine. Be like that. <laughs> well, well, depending on how long you decide to stick around, certain things may happen. Uh, I'll up. Like indigestion. <laughs> well, I'll hold on to the ever and I'll start to back out. Mm. Well, uh, thank you for this dinner. I'll be going now. Do you do this immediately after chugging? I'll eat some more. Okay, well. You know, you know, do you wait polite. up to wait. 30 minutes of, 30. of festivities? That's mm. a lot of festivities. 30 minutes is kind of long, though. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, it's when you're a large, kind of high, large brute. But if you partake in such festivities, it basically counts as a short rest. So festive. So festive. Sure. I'm back. You just feel jubilant yep. being in this environment. Um, um, um. Get my, get my short oh, okay. The short or long list. The best part <clears> is that <throat> if you, well, no matter what kind of joke you tell or how bad it is, everyone starts to laugh when you tell one. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Uh... But, what do you do? What What is your angle of approach here? Uh, eat good food, and, uh, you know, try, try, try to be chill about the weird company. Well, after a little while, a while, the ghosts start to fade away one by one by one. Hmm. Until eventually, 
The food, too, vanishes. You still feel full. Like, whatever food you ate is still inside of you, but... The room now feels a bit darker, emptier. Eh. But the ewer is still in your hand. So you got to keep that, at least. Nice. Aw, man. Does it have a name? Um, um, the exact description is the copper, uh, green copper ewer. It has images of many forest animals forest. dancing and prancing around, particularly around grapevines. At least those might be grapevines, who knows. Maybe they're just weirdly shaped bananas. Mm. <laughs> Banana vines! Ah, you right. Large jug with a white mouth. Mm. Okay. Do you open the door to the south? Sounds like a plant. Say so. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh man, it's uh the hey, Krimbus. It's a corpse. Oh. A whole bunch cool. of those skulls again. Indeed. It's your favorite friend, skeletons. Well actually it's just the well, actually, skulls. Just... But I'm well, not one I'm... to judge or discriminate against skeleton kind. <laughs> Come on, just type in type in there we go. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Look at these initiative counts. <laughs> Netta. Keep Netta. being terrible at this. Netta sits at 16. Mm. Is everyone old initiative? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's and it's sorted. Is there anyone here that needs to... Okay, we're all here. We're all ready to go. Scambles. Scambles. The skulls start flaring up their fires. They look ready to go. You might want to be fast. They look a bit oh, cracked, though. Do. Then one of them has an arrow sticking out, so... Which one? Uh, oh. the one of, uh, all the way in the back has like a little arrow sticking out. The other ones you can see visible oh, cracks. They may have been in a scrap before. Oh, uh, question. Does Nida have a uh, some kind of inbuilt advantage on the initiative? Uh, I have my Rapier of Warden, so yeah. yeah. Oh, that kind of thing. Well, there's a uh, in the settings you can set your initiative style to advantage. So I'll take care follows. of that. Don't worry about it. Yeah. In the I'm settings, gonna... because I'm trying to just kind of change my uh, role selection to advantage and it doesn't seem to work on initiative. Huh. Oh, well. Okay. Good. Oh, so actually, it does. Little... It just doesn't show you the other role. Well, well it works. I am. Anyway, anyway, what do you want to do, Mr. Warlock? So if I'm now correctly, they take less damage from fire. They are immune to fire, or if not resistant. Yeah, skulls that are on fire. Yeah. Mm. It is a deduction that does not require any check. But I wonder if... Hmm. Yeah, I'll, let's just move up to this guy and hit him with my flame torch. Took a wide swing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack him twice. It shatters on the floor. Uh, whereas before the whereas parts before started the to parts shiver a bit, these shiver. ones seem to sizzle. As if they've already been hit with some sort of, you know, anti-undead water. Pal! Oh, nice. Hey, that's me. That's you? That's me. Uh, let's go with just skateboard a little and splash that bad boy. Uh, button. Sploosh. Uh. You send an acidic sploosh. The skull looks kind of sad as it half melts. But it does get to make its magic roll too. Because it's magic resistance. Oh, in that case, it's fine. Hmm. That being said, the cracks and the odd melting doesn't really blend well. Ogre. 
Evet. <gülüyor> oh, I just... Run out, out to it and... Yeah. Run out to it and just try to... <laughs> batter it into a wall. Like, using my sword as a... Basically as a baseball club. You smack it. You could also try to, to aim at the other skull if you wish. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Roll Let, me let's for skull. do that. The... What, what do I roll? An attack roll, of course. Oh. Wham. Well, you basically crack the two skulls together. The one in the back and the one in the front both sort of explode as they slam into oh. each other. Home run. Ain't that lovely. The hallway is quiet. And it's uh, not as light without those skulls around. There are several doors mm. off to the west and there's a big door off to the south with a corpse in front of it that's burnt up. I bet that smells fantastic. Despite also being made out of wood, uh, a staff that's lying next to him seems to be 100% fine. I inspect the corpse, part of the corpse. Man, that guy sure is crispy. <laughs> Probably be very tasty I'm if you weren't against cannibalism. I'm not going to find it in pockets, I'm going to guess. Let's see what's behind door number three. Uh, so, there's a staff? Yes! Oh. Hey, Pat. Staff. Staff? I mean, I, I have, like, a super, super magic stuff, but it can't hurt to have a look at it. Hmm. I'm gonna grab that bad boy. Sure, why the heck not? Let's pick up... What's the worst that could happen? Well, you pick up a staff. It's, uh... Sure as a staff. Clearly it went well for... Clearly it went well for this guy! <laughs> Um, it's a very nicely carved wooden staff with a large round ornament at the top. Um, you can make an arcana check if you want to fully understand the staff without having to take some time to fully analyze it. Maybe you can recognize uh, its particular magical aura. Okay, boop. Hooray! Uh, Bruno, I know what magic you're gonna need some time to figure out what the heck this thing is. Okay. And draw rooms on three. I don't know why you guys are so insistent on doing this all at once, but sure. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> oh no, you found some rooms. So spooky, so scary. <laughs> I'm, sure uh, here. I'm scared. Oh no. This game must hold me. Hmm. What? <laughs> I'm too scared. The following things are... <laughs> okay, uh, one quick thing, by the way. Don't forget that these, this place are pretty chilly, but these rooms are chillier. Ooh. Oh, man. Something about them just feels cool. uncannily cold. Putting that uncanny <laughs> coldness aside, you find a room that contains a large, beautiful castle. Uh, the room over here is filled with bottles and shelves. And this is a hallway! Heck yeah! God damn, you found the coolest part of the whole dungeon. <laughs> Glad I picked this one to go to. <laughs> Sound? Nothing at all! Stupid. You're so stupid. Okay, so... There are ladders and bottles. Yes. Uh, hmm. Oh. <clears throat> but, but are there, like, labels or anything? Um, yes, there are many levels and there are many potions, but they look a bit more like powder than potions. Uh-oh. Hmm. Someone didn't buy good bottles if they can dry up. Okay, I... Is there one that's labeled healing? Uh, if you are uh, labeled... You are... Healing? Gosh, they're smudged. <laughs> The handwriting's pretty <laughs> shitty to begin with. You know, what, what if you just rehydrate it? Who knows? Might work. Might work. <laughs> I'm just going to look through for anything that looks valuable or Jaren interesting. Jaren you are climbing apparently on the small miniature scale version of a castle. Yeah, I'd like to uh, look over over the castle and I'll try to memorize anything important. 
sure Why would you want to memorize anything that? about the castle? What, what, who who what, says what, this who? castle is anything important? It's just a castle. Don't castle. think about it too much. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of <laughs> like... Now this, I mean, yeah. now that you mention it from a distance, if you kind of step into the corner of the room, yeah, that's the same silhouette you saw in the distance, yes. Uh, double more reason why. Well, I find anything of note about this. There's this odd glowing red light in one of the towers. You can't make out what the light source is supposed to be, but. Well, it's like a little small gem that's in the middle. But that seems to be more for, like, the purposes of showing the light sources there than indicating whatever it is. You know, like seeing a tiny LED in, like, a model house. Hmm. So I want to check the chest over here. You it's find the chest, chest right? and, and seats, yes, there are, or is a storage container that seems to be in shape. You open it up. There's a lot of maps and four lore plans for Castle Ravenloft. They are hecka dusty and frail. And any attempt to remove them will cause them to crumble quite easily. I'm gosh darn. Well, you still have the, the the scale model here that gives you most basic floor plan information bits. <clears throat> I think I'll look at some Ravenloft handouts and give you a few that can reasonably be discerned from what you can tell of the castle. And the blueprints, because you can still sort of... Look at one, and then very carefully try to break the upper layer. It's 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 like archaeology, but it's a wall of paper. I don't care to check if any map is in a condition I can't take it. I'm just gonna check the whole chest, even if some maps can you, you, you pick. You, you take the heroic action of literally picking up the entire chest and flipping it upside down. Yeah. Um, a false <laughs> a false bottom falls out. And you oh. find a small selection of three quaint books. The books are green, he he. blue, bottom. and red. Oh. Hmm. Any attempt to open the books fails, the books as if the pages are glued together, together. and the books are labeled um, Charms, Char Clarity, and age. So stack those spinners, I guess. Yes. The red book is clarity, the blue book is age, and the green book is charm. I'm gonna write it down. Um, these are all reasonable details you can discern from just looking at this thing very carefully. Uh, the towers seem to have significantly less detail associated with them. So there might be something spooky in there. Spooky! Which is my subtle cue of saying that... Look there. <laughs> oh. You also can't look into like the, the catacombs or any potential dungeons that are uh, associated, because this scale model mostly scale focuses model on the mostly... above-ground sections. Hmm. The people the in the potion room. Charged. Um, If you found a way to rejuvenate these way... potions, you probably found a gold mine, but you don't know of any reliable way of doing well, so. I mean, I'm an alchemist. Well, like, in that case... Also... You'd still need an alchemy station. I have alchemy supplies, but I don't think that'll help. Wait, ogres and... Oh yeah, because... Because <laughs> of his backstory. Yeah. If anyone would know how to make those dino sponges grow, it would be you, yes. <laughs> so then, uh, the books were named Charms. Uh, charm, and... Clarity, yeah. and Age. Clarity and Age. Yes. Okay, thanks. Well, I'm gonna snag a couple of these, like, bottles, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna look something up. I, <clears throat> I also grab a few bottles, you know. You never know. I love it. Alright, well, All right. um, I see the two of you get to roll me 2d10, and that's how many random potion bottles you have. And whenever you want to do anything with any of them, you have to roll to revitalize it, and after that, I get to roll a random potion that will come out. Heck yeah! In fact, I'll specifically just post the table I'm planning to use for this, so you guys can all give it a look. Random dehydrate potion. Well, 
as you all move along and decide to finish up. Oh man, that that twenty result is gonna be fun. Indeed. Oh, baby, baby, you baby, baby. Everything baby. tastes like dirt for a while. <laughs> Heck a yeah! All right, you're it's like eating done. a McDonald's. You're almost done with the main <laughs> section of the floor. Isn't that nice? You just have to go through this door and not die. Which one? The hallway door? If you want to. You don't have to go through that door, but it is the easiest way to get back to where you came from. Hmm. At least if I mean, your calculations are correct. You know, maybe I'm going to check what is behind the hallway or try to get to that secret stairway we discover in all of us. I mean, That's over. You're free to do whatever. That's the well, we might as well clear out the top floor before we head down to any other ones. How loudly, how proudly do you want to kick That's... in this door? That's a question you need to ask Oga because he's the big guy. Do you wish to cast Ooh. any healing or buffs before you open the door? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's what doors are good for. Oh. Subtle. I'm... Oh. What I'm actually saying is if you have a door in front of you and you're afraid of something through it, why not cast your buffs before you enter a situation? Like, make someone charismatic before you need the charisma. Yeah. And then we don't need it, and the freaking spell is wasted. Perfect. Yeah. But if you didn't waste it, it would have been great. Oh. Can we hear anything on the other side of the You hear door? voices. Human voices. Oh. They sound grumpy and angry. Oh. They talk about invaders. That'll okay, do. I'm gonna use uh, the freaking vampire's phone again to heal a pun for one key rounds level two. Oh, so yeah. that's two uh, d eight plus five. Uh, I mean, you keep calling it vampire's thorn. It's technically the holy symbol of Ravenloft, but sure. It's both. It's both. Sure. <laughs> anyway, so the hand, I would say, so not. Yo, How's no, my? Um, how are my prospects of trying to open the door quietly and slipping in and hiding somewhere? If this room is anything like the room on the other side, it's not so big, so it might work. It's not uh, real bad. I'll... It's not real bad. I'll roll stealth, I guess. I mean, we could always try and talk our just... way through. Yeah, they're, they're probably human. Yeah. They're probably really yeah, some are. Yeah, so it might working work with the list, Only so reasonable maybe. people guard an evil temple of evil and darkness and secrets and giant golems and skulls that shoot fire. I yeah, mean, maybe we're them. not the invaders. They don't know that. We're coming from the inside. Yeah, yeah. You skulls could... are the invaders. Like, I'm also not terrible at Call this guy talking. Inside. Sure. Go ahead. Do any prep work you need and... You manage to peek in through I'm the sorry. door and that... get a full glimpse of it without betraying your location. That probably shouldn't be with advantage. Yeah. 22 is still enough I to evade have... most of their detections. Even the giant buffo doesn't smell you. Yeah, forget what I said. That guy in the top right looks like he's straight out of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay, so... <clears throat> Yeah, looks like a guard room of some sort, and there does. They look very There's... barbaric. You know, yeah. the skulls, the furs, they look very warmly dressed because it's cold here. Yeah, I'll say if we're like busting we're in, I'm probably going to give Skamos a quick haste buff. Oh. Well, Not you, this. You can't get all of them. Oh. Ogre. Ogre. It's not fast yeah, talk no, if you're I not hasted. <laughs> Come back. That's my answer. Very, very true. And I kick in the door. Awesome. Heroically, you kick in the door. Okay, Inside so this... you guys want to hold them at the choke point the door makes? This man stands up. He is dressed the finest of all. He demands to know who would intrude upon his rest but an invader. Also, you came from kind of an odd direction. <laughs> <laughs> We, we did come from inside. Yeah, you came from the interior entrance. Not even the interior entrance on this side, but the interior entrance over here. 
It is I, Ogre. Ha! I know not who you are. Who might you be? <laughs> Do not feign interest in me. Karg the Great does not guard this temple by being naive. Ah, so you are guarding this temple. Of course. The Dark Powers oh, promise such much power in return. Hmm. Did you get that in writing? I mean, like, if I was the Dark Powers, I would probably just go around promising Silence power to everybody. And then the Dark Powers take... are always good on their bargains. Yeah, but I'm just saying dark and good. Perhaps yeah. I should show you that power then. Oh, I'm good. Um, when can I just interrupt by shooting this guy in the throat with my bow? Whenever the hell you want to. Well, he's I about to I... show us dark powers. It's probably a good plan. Yeah, should I, I showed him some dark powers. No, he's just saying that to intimidate you more than he's actually trying to start a fight. Well, we are it's intimidated not... enough to get to the fight or flight part, and we choose fight. All right. Oh. Everyone decides to just go in for a stablin. Oh. Uh, by the way, where are our NPCs? They are outside, having a sit. Ah. You're fine without them. They're Don't chilling in the chilling in the party hut. It's about this. outside. So, is there a surprise round kind of thing, or...? Well, technically speaking, you had alerted them of your presence. You know. Right, you okay. Know. Fair point. So there's no, like, major advantage for you to claim. Great! Pan has the best advantage! Pan is too, believes too much in the powers of good. And I gotta use... You know, alert to make that go down by five! You are now in negative three. I don't know why Thank you yeah. want to be in negative three, but there you are. <laughs> Oh man, it's swinging! I just wanted to see if you can go negative. <laughs> the dire wolf goes first, and goes for the person who raises their arms. Don't they have 22? Oh yeah, where, where you keep You keep not in... yeah. Yeah, because... Like, I'm be already fair, at 16 you're, you're for some reason, but... Yeah. Uh, for some reason my track, like, the tracker doesn't count me in for some reason. There, go! No. You actually do get your shot off first. Yeah. Like, it was supposed to. Who do you shoot? Uh, the guy Ogre was talking to. Good, you get your sneak attack on that. So that's 24. Yeah. You watch as the short bow spikes into his armor. Ah! Uh, attack! Yeah, I was hoping to get him, like, in Did the I just hear that? Something, but I guess he missed. No, he didn't. The wolf goes in for a pounce on our good friend. It has advantage on this big bite. And it messes up like crazy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ogre is too familiar with wolves to be caught off guard by one. Uh -huh. Scamos. Advantage versus puppies. You hear, you hear biting and chomping and, and the clattering of teeth and the shouting of orders. What do you do? Will you... Take a turn, or will you pick your nose? Either or is acceptable. Hmm. He's muted right now, so... Um, we'll just move uh, on down the line, then. Ogre. Ogre. A wolf pity. <clears throat> yeah. It well, tried. Well, I... Going, going to my lightning raid, rage again, and... Uh, the wolf gets a, a... Spark in its nose. So we, uh, the Bible swing. The wolf dodges, but it is like wine, magic, spooky. Oh. Ogre takes a turn, then you can go, Skamos. Okay. Oh, don't forget, Skamos is hasted. I hasted him before the fight. I'll give him his hasting little clock effect, so we yeah. all know. <clears throat> what else do you wish to do when you turn, Ogre? I swing at the ang angry man, whom we kind of angered, but... Details. Hey, you're the one raging here. Raging. Yeah. Well, well. Despite his fierce-looking armor, he's pretty easy to hit. Pretty... Boom. Boom. Wham. Boom. And boom. Shake the room. So, so I just go in a circle. Of... First hitting him, and then his wolf. 
Oh no. That's a Man. Do you have advantage? You're using reckless? Yeah. Wow. His wow. wolf is uh, already looking already. like uh, he he needs a he needs a break. Scamos, your turn. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering how to position my favorite spell. The hunger. Yeah. Fun tentacle time. Probably like uh, let me indicate this somehow. I mean, uh, Twenty feet. Oh jeez. Yeah, like, I would there suggest something like this. There is a nice little crack like in the wall here you can aim down if you needed to. Kind of. Or, like... uh, I hate to dwell in this freaking mood. 20 feet radius, that means uh, something like. Yeah, I would suggest something like this, personally. This should be the size. Yeah, you can easily put it in such a way that every single person is affected except the, the, the big man. Yeah. I'll put it shape. somehow like that. That is not a 20 foot radius, but sure. Not. Oh, I'm curious. You know what I mean, so let's go. Yep, so every, Shakes. everyone except Ogre and the Gladiator in that room are currently sucked up into... What is it again? Like what darkness? darkness? Cold darkness? I'm just gonna post it in the chat and then you can read it for instance. All right. They are all, all hungry. Great place. Dark. Gateway to the dark. Uh, put it in, in like this, this, this space over here. And it'll fall over... Okay, let me just pick that up and put it down where it's approximate. There. You watch as the room just vanishes into galactic space. <laughs> well, um... So, and I still have one action because of haste, but... Yeah. Technically, yes. You can make a weapon so, attack. Yeah, so, I want to move up to the glacier and hit him with my sword. He watches as his allies vanish into the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the master of the dark? <laughs> uh, Holy shit. Ooh. Curse slam, that's 26 plus 18. That is 42. Wait, the I'm big sorry. specs. No, 26 plus 18, that's 44, actually. You watch as he turns from a healthy man oh, into man. a bloody mess. So so kind of Since average invocation. Oh, you didn't actually chop in half? Almost! Nice. Almost! I mean... Ooh... Um, Haste's extra action only gives you one weapon attack regardless of any special Ah, attack. okay. Good to know. It's strangely specific about that, which I find sad. But that's how it's always... That's actually because of a holdover. It's really weird. I can talk about it, but that's not the time. Um, what do they have to make? What's your saving throw DC again? Uh, Dex. Roll me 2d6 Dex. and everyone gets that. For the cold. Yeah. No, hmm, let's see. Any creature that ends its turn in there, I must take the same turn. So 6. And... Uh, and anything starting. Oh, so, yeah. Mm, this oh, is yeah. the damage they will take if they stop in the zone. Yeah, oh. and um... they start. Eh. Okay, they all take six damage as they are given the chills. They also, they are blind and have difficult terrain for all that's worth. Okay, well, um, that means that some of them may not be able to run out in time. That was the plan. <laughs> um, many of them run towards the door in a panic. Some of them actually make it out and, and crash through the door. Stumbling as they reorient themselves. Some, however, do not make it out in time. Wait, did they get this guy? Oof. Okay, uh, dexterity, uh, how, what's the saving throw they have to make? Yeah, it's the dexterity again. Take it as no, they, they get hit regardless of your numbers, okay. So these guys take extra, extra ouchy damage. Yeah. You hear the sounds of Hadar having a good old field day. Must touch everything with tentacles. So you reckless attack, didn't you, Ogre? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. As always. Um, because uh, fun fact about this guy, he attacks many times. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Take damage as you as you do. 
Okay. Luckily, you're raging, so you take less because they're not magical. Hmm. Well, I don't think it has. Oh, yeah, it doesn't kind of... specify, oh, yeah. does it? It's all just all physical type yeah. damage. Cool. Uh, 18 armor class. So let's see. First one, First nope. One. Second one, nope. Third one, Good. yes. So that's 11. Uh, that one, nope. Actually, he hits that... you on all the good tries. Gracie is 18. He, he has, advantage, has advantage, since you're reckless attacking. Yeah. So and he one. rolled a 25, a 19, 19 and a 25. 25. So... Good. Wait. Yeah, my AC is 18. Then a... Total 35. Oh. oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Total yeah, 35 yeah. physical damage. That's 25, yeah. So you get to half each instance, probably, to like 6 and 6 and 6, or which way does it run? Everything always runs down. Then you 5, 6, and 6. So yeah, 5, 6, and 6. For a sweet and sexy 17. Yeah. Delicious. Right. Delicious. Delicious. Kind of, kind of tells you to bugger off. Bugger off. Mm. Ow. Rude. Kira, Ow. you were all the way back there. You looked at a nice thing, but hey, who cares? Uh, I forget if I can uh, mark and attack. In the... What is mark? A bonus action? How does mark? Uh... Does it say anywhere? Hunter's Mark not... is a bonus action to cast, so yes, you can do that and make an attack. Then I shall. Gone. Big, big metal dude. Big. What's his face? Yeah. This dude. Big armored guy. Whoop, he is Hunter's Marked. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Taking the shot. Uh, so you six. roll an extra one d six. Oh, that should. That's not the damage. Is the damage? Can I get a one d six extra bonus damage, please? From your hunter. Uh, right. Oh yeah, I forgot to. I forgot to. Uh... You can just roll one d six for free. Roll there, he's dead. You actually did just enough damage to knock him over. <laughs> So, Bang. Ogre, just as you're about to go in for another in swing, face. a bullet just poof, poof, catches him and tips him Ooh. over. Ooh. Pan, um, things look great. Great. Yeah. Things look pretty great. Uh, I should probably mark you guys with blue for concentration. Can we hear some noises? My cat is hunting a fly. You hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's splish slash the papo and the dude that's closest to him. You cannot yeah. see. Him. I cannot. I'll, yeah, I'll scoot they, over there. They've dressed in the galactic darkness. I mean, oh, uh, I'm just kind of vaguely aiming where they are. That's not how that spell works. Okay. Fine, I'll aim for the dude by the door then. Forget that it's like a giant dome of darkness and horrible things. It's great things. He doesn't take any damage. He takes half damage because I have the Ooh. thing. Because you're a handsome lady. You can't deal with being handsome. Netta, Netta, you're doing fine. <laughs> you don't need to attack. Things are going great. I like that dot covers my entire face. <sighs> I mean, I don't need to attack, I guess, but it's like. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Get your most trustworthy voice going on. Okay, what if I move here? Whoa, you move there? What a hero. Zoom. Yeah. It's pretty dark in this room because, like, all the... Yeah, the light sources are all covered up. 
Yeah. Probably snuffed out. Uh, cool. Whoops. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I love this pallet system. Go ahead, Netta. You can bonk this man if you wish. Yeah. Fire like, Fire. Can I take a bonus action to... Use sleight of hand on him. To do what? Uh, steal whatever he has. Sure. You can, but that's more of an action kind of thing. Unless you, I mean, be, unless you do that as a bonus action. Yeah, I have fast hands mm -hmm. like this. You fast hands. Wow. What? Yes. I mean, <laughs> there's not much on this guy. This is not like a nobleman running away with, with pockets lined with gold. Yeah, but maybe he's like keys or something. <laughs> ah, yes, the keys to the many locks you've seen her so far. Uh, whatever. So if there isn't anything worth stealing, then that's what they find out and just stab him. I mean, you can roll slate of hand and try to get something out of his pocket. I'm just saying, you wouldn't know what you could expect in there. Okay, well... Well, that's a number he can't beat. So let's see what you find in this man's pocket. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna go to where the table looks nice, and I'll tell you what you find. Oh, well, that's interesting. You find a potion bottle of some sorts. Nice. Um, See? It's Never know, it's labeled, try. It's labeled heroism, but it's Hero. written in broken common. It's a potion of heroism. Nice. Wink, wink, not judge. Anyway. Is there anything you want to do with your actual action? Stab him. Actually, you don't get <laughs> You don't get sneak, sneak attack, attack, but you can always ready an action to wait until someone else gets in. Oh, I can? Yeah, uh, yeah okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I You're guess. ready. We'll take six. And sort of scampers off. Into the sunset. Letting out poor dog noises. Real people hydrate. It took to the six damage from start and turn in the darkness. Yep. Yeah, the six damage we already rolled. Okay. Skamos! So I'm gonna move up to uh, this guy and hit him with my phantom. The guy at the left or the guy to your right? Or the guy to your south right? I mean, mm. south left. Left. left, so that's this at the end. Yeah, because he's in the darkness. Does it mean it's, he's concealed? Yeah, so yeah. he has disadvantage because he can't see him. Actually, wouldn't it cancel out wouldn't since he can't see you either? Yeah, it, it cancels out. You can't see each other. You're just kind of swinging at the darkness, Wait. hoping you hit something, but nothing happens. <laughs> Yeah, I think Griff rolled with disadvantage anyway. Uh, you do get your extra attack though, don't forget that. Your extra extra so, attack. So, I'm just gonna roll for normal or what? Because it cancels out, so how does it work? So, he can't see so, you, so that's yeah, disadvantage, yeah. disadvantage. But you can't see him, so that's yeah. disadvantage. So it cancels out. Okay. okay. You get one more attack, if you use your haste action for it. You hit him. Yeah, I did. Ah, another attack, yeah, but... And I'm gonna attack again. The bonus. You just speed swing, speed. Into the swing into the darkness. Attack the dark. It's kind of hard to hit anything that's in the darkness, though. Yeah, this one was not eleven after all. Okay. I mean, one should maybe hit. You watch a fiery sword vanish into the dark again and again and again. <laughs> it's cold in there. It 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 creates this weird strobe <laughs> effect as it happens. Looks cool. What do you want to do, Ogre? Well, there's still one guy I can see, so... Oh. Yes. And now we are blocking the door. Good job. <laughs> well, Ogre smash. Uh, run into this guy. That's so bad. Rage. Rage. Great thing. Whoa. Bonk. So when can I use my ready action? Whenever you want to. 
Whatever your real conditions have been met. You waited until someone flanked him, and now he's flanked. Go for the hit. Go for it. Oh. oh. Uh, I used my bonus action to zap the guy before. The guy me. in front of you or behind you? Front of me? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, um, Mr. Zirka. I still am distinct to, distinct to mace, so I mace. He's zapped for six. You will feel that in his toes all the way to his jaws. It's the Berserker's it's turn. Berserker. Um, well, well, they're not going to fight a losing battle if they see battle. it, but they're going to have to fight their way through Ogre to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so they all... Oh, that's a little gap over here. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of awkward to that's climb through awkward. when it's all dark. <laughs> Whoops. Like, yeah, they, they gotta, gotta go through the giant do dome of spooky tentacles to get there. Scamos, you can attack for opportunity as little gang up on one guy. Okay. Okay, so okay. one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. These do not have advantage, not Mr. 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 Ogre. So that's uh, oh, three that's... hits. Uh... Mm -hmm. So that's six damage from that. Uh, five total. from five and hmm, what seven? seven? Half of seven is three. Seven. Three. So eight. Ah, man, you're just tough. No, <laughs> wait. Six. Solid. No, I mean, Twelve, ten, seven. Twelve, ten. So six, five, and three makes for fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Five. Math is, math is hard. hard. Let's go shopping. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, okay, no damage. Boom. Wait, where did you get Wait. that back? When do you take a short what rest? Did you... Didn't we take at the short... table? Yeah. Okay. At the lunch time. Did we take a short rest at the table? Did... I mean, sat was, down for like half an hour. Had the that, it was drink. only if you partook in the festivities that you got your short rest benefits. I okay, think I he did along with Kira. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just eating there. Well, Unless these I fellows are trying to push their way past. One of them must make a dexterity saving throw from the hunger of Hadar since he's still sort of standing inside of it and he takes another six damage. Ah! Ooh! Essentially, yes. Kira, they're, they're, they're trying to sort of Push past ogre, so to speak. I'm gonna take another shot at the near, the clearest head I could see, which would be this guy. Yep. Bam. Bam. You hear the sound echo off the walls, and it hits. Thanks to that. Where does that? Pl oh, yeah, that's your archery, I imagine. So no hunter's mark on this guy, probably. I think you can swap ten. hunter's mark for free once you've cast it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, Hunter's Mark has a range of six of 90 feet. Okay, 90. That's enough. Yeah, nine, In that case, it's... kaboom! Ah, they're gonna have to sound the retreat soon without holding ground. Pam! That's me! Do a thing! Do a thing! Uh, I am going to splish splash that guy and that guy. Like, I think, can I see the bottom guy as well? Probably. Yeah, his, yeah. his leg is sticking out of the thing. Enough, yes. You can see his leggy. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that damage. I am I built, am for, built combat. for combat. Well, they both flunk it up anyway. So, who do you hit again? Uh, who do you hit? Uh, top guy and left guy. <laughs> this is leggy is sticking out just enough for you to hit him. Got some bad knee burns now. Like, that's an awkward space to be in, anyway. Nada! You're in an awkward lump of people hitting each other. <laughs> mosh pit, mosh pit. Okay, so... I guess I'll just shank the guy in front of me. Because, like, what else would they do? Give him the old right shank him. 
Yeah, I probably can just hide in place then get advantage on my shank. Turbo yeah. I am. Wow, that's smart. Big pulp. Entire wolf will make its getaway outside. So Longer this guy way. ain't dead yet. Nope. They're pretty tough guys. Schemas. What a situation so... to be in. <sighs> so I... Can I move a step to the uh, over there and try to like conceal myself behind scams? Sure. Okay, because I have cannon action so I can hide as a bonus. Cool, we'll remove some stealth. Well, it's you're hidden for their yes. purposes. Cool. Hooray, snake Scam us! Someone's hiding behind I... you. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the guy east for me. Take a swig. Kablam! Uh, and another one. Swoosh, he's down. And... Like, look how synergistic this all is. Teamwork. So the dude saw of me, I can't see him, right? Yeah, it's the, it's the same. It's a neutral attack roll. I'm <laughs> thinking about just uh, stopping the concentration on my spell so I can hit him easy. Sure. You can do so if you want. I don't want to do that then. My other father is over. There's no more hungry Hadars. Then I'm gonna hit the south guy at once. Kabam. He's a hurting. Eager. You're surrounded from many sides. Be used to this. I am indeed. Surrounded from many sides in a cold room. You watch the glass. All admire you. you. Need to act oh. fast. Okay. Which one of them looks? Most injured. Uh, south. Uh, south. You hit well, him. He's probably hurt. Wham. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who's more injured looking now? Uh, the guy who was in the hunger of Havadar. He looks cold and bitten. Okay. And his knee is slightly melted. <laughs> Let's warm him. Warm him with with his own blood. Jesus. <sighs> oh. And I get a bonus a action, since that uh -huh. was a critical. So one of these is he is unlucky. Let's say the guy to my left, right. What a blow! Wham. What a blow! It's heading in into ground beef. Yep. Well, the guy at the top will provoke an attack opportunity as their turn comes around. Since they're running away at full speed. Ogre attack off to the chase. Oh. Uh, is this still with advantage or not? Uh, let me look up reckless attack specifics. Reckless. Yep. Yep. Oh no, only oh, during nice. this turn. Oh no, yeah. wait, yeah, turn is oh, all... Yeah. Nope, nope, turn is nope. just your turn, so attack opportunity do not benefit. Okay, well, let's see then. Wham. We still give him a good old ransacking. That's a big wham. Big whammies. And they scurry off into the sunset. Combat's over. Although after a short moment you hear a sudden explosion. And you remember that your friends are like camping outside the door. <laughs> yeah. Right into the ambush. Just as planned. They'll probably have questions, but yes. <laughs> so, what's this? Oh, whoa. It's a room. There's a There's crack, a crack. There's outside. It's covered up with some tarps and sheets, so it doesn't dra this is not too breezy, but... Yes, theoretically someone could crawl outside through here. Well, mm -hmm. I'm small. I'll just see what's on the other side. It's the outside world. The outside world. God, it's cold out here. 
Temple's not that much yeah. better, but comparatively, better, but... treasure orc trophy. <laughs> Let's roll some treasure for my friend. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay. You find, well, between all of them, around 110 gold pieces. Ooh. Uh, the big guy, however, also had some platinum pieces in his back pocket. Mm. Ten of them. Oh. He also uh, had keep the platinum heroes. and... So that would be, uh... Ten. How much for each? Yeah, well, I don't know. Alright, ten. Split split five ways. It's, uh... Try two each. Leggy Ooh. out. Look at that cat. <laughs> yeah. So, so everyone uh, gets 22 gold pieces. Uh, okay. How many gold pieces do I get? 22. 22. Right. Hey. And two platinum. Oh, two platinum. These coins are curiously not uh, in the Barovian style, shall we say. Hmm. Some of them Strange. look quite foreign. Uh, I show the potion of old heroism, mm -hmm. unquote, to Pan. Oh, man. What is that? Looks like a bottle of water. <laughs> it is a bottle of water. Yeah. That's pretty diva. To make some money. Really? Nothing, okay. Nothing Fine. says being nothing says being a hero like being properly hydrated. Yes. Dramatic thumbs up. How long? Well, Oh, okay. circle back here. So apparently I'm carrying too much stuff and um, over capacity. Oh. The heck are you <clears throat> carrying their scales? The freaking arm of it only turns to rain. Those books are pretty heavy. Oh, yes. Uh, how much do the dehydrated potions weigh? Barely anything. Uh, okay. Like, the, the powder is supposed to be dissolved in a bunch of water, so it weighs barely anything. Well, yes. Okay. I mean, normal potions are, like, pretty small, honestly. Why the hell am I carrying a chest? Makes no sense. Probably start equipment. Just, yeah. just pull out of your pocket space and throw it on the ground somewhere, or put it in the Baba Yaga hut. Yeah. I'm also carrying a chest. But you're putting stuff in it. Anyway. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. I mean, where would you keep your lines otherwise? No mm. da -da 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 -da. Okay. <clears throat> well, we've done about as good a counterclockwise sweep of the area as you could, so... I'm for checking out uh, secret stairway. I found. Yeah, secret stairway sounds like a fun idea. Are we gonna check out the hallway on the best, or we just go to the open area down where the big statue is? You can go wherever you want. I'm not the one to tell you where to go. I'm gonna uh, wait. Yeah. I'm interested in that hallway, and yeah. then when I. Go to the end of the hallway, there's something. The door isn't open. Where? It's stairs. Is that restricted? No, I'm not restricting movement. You can fit through that door just fine. No. Okay, just, you know, see through it. <laughs> you can oh, go to where they go. <laughs> All right, so a couple of people are going down that one. Scamos and Pan want to go down the other staircase. Cool. And our good <laughs> buddy Kira is staying upstairs. I didn't mean to. I just I kind of got distracted. 
Okay, you're going down the central stairs. All right, as everyone decides to split up, because Scooby and the gang can find clues better that way. Yeah. 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 That's so, you find a monster, one away. Like... I'm Shaggy and Ogre's I got some bad news for you, Kira. Unless you have night vision or anything, you're not going to be seeing much as you go down. Uh, uh, nah, nah, it's, uh, where is it? It's in here somewhere. There it is. You haven't still still saw your see your token. Okay, you gain dark vision out to ninety feet. Um, all right. I need to do something with your token in that case. You emit light for ninety feet. It's dim radius, so zero. If I did this correctly, you can now see. I could see the whole time. Like, okay. or uh, did did oh, you I forget forgot, to check the second down to the right floor? Now it should be there. Black. You go. Oh. Um, uh, and Pan are over in the other section. I mean, beach blackness. It is not working correctly. <laughs> I can barely even see my, most of my own token. Yeah, because dark vision kind of sucks. Uh, I wait, so you're saying it's only 9 feet instead of 90 wait, feet? Wait, something's weird going on if that's the case. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just. I know why because it hasn't hit your light radius properly. There, save changes. There. There. Now um... you can see. Well, I can't see I'm... anything. What the hell are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> you broke it. You break it, <laughs> bye, kid. I didn't do anything. No, I know exactly how I'm gonna fix this. There. You will listen, child. <laughs> <laughs> Pan also has dark vision, so that's nice. Uh, gonna update your token for that, Pan. All right. If oh. you think the light's a bit dim, that's because dark vision isn't that great. I also have dark vision from my. Oh, I'm big now. You can only. I have. Do remind me from time to time that you can only see. Black and white. I have goggles of night, if that's Oh, wait, different. this all doesn't actually matter. I forgot something else about this floor. The deeper you go, eventually you just stop being able to see. Oh. You are eventually <laughs> just surrounded by pure blackness. Like, you can see the sort of immediate area, but for the most, you're, you're kind of... You're kind of walking on, 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 on the stick here. Pan and Scamos are not affected by this. They seem to be able to see just fine. In fact, they see a light source down the hallway. Oh, man. I wouldn't rush down. I don't trust this place. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Good old... How about we stealth down? Wait, is Ogre emitting light? Ogre, okay. stop emitting light, you dingus. <laughs> I'm so He's a freaking electric man. He's freaking... <laughs> Yeah, I crack yeah. with electricity. Okay, fine, Ogre. You get to emit light. You're just kind of crackling. <laughs> uh, because I have my doggles of light, he still gets 60. You, you get 60 feet of what? Dark vision? Yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah, so, same thing for me. I also got the goggles of light. Oh. Really? Then you get more? Hmm? What more? I don't... Goliaths <laughs> do not have dark vision naturally. Take a oh. D&D 5 feet. everybody has dark vision. And if you don't, you have something else that's the same thing. Well, <laughs> what do y'all want to do? Well, Pam and Scamos, how about we focus on you guys? I want to There's an open door down. down the hallway. That's a lovely hallway. Now, personal oh. recommendation. Might be worth checking out. Is there a light coming from out there or not? I am also going to try and stealth. Oh, heck yeah. You stealth up oh. to the room like a bunch of heroes. Man, I'm seeing some monsters. You see m m m m monsters There's something strange. Just 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 Jinkies. There are a bunch of guests in there. You can see them crawling oh around, spooking and scaring, but you manage to remain undetected. They are surrounding several interesting shapes, amber shapes, 
glowing with weird, powerful magical energy. They draw you in. They lure you. Mm. It is as if they are offering you great gifts for a bargain bin price. That's my favorite price. I... I kind of want to abuse freaking holy symbol with tongue of Fada now. No, no, that doesn't work right. Too bad. It would be funny. It would be. Hmm. Gas, I don't remember if they produce. So. May see. Okay, so you guys who are standing in a hallway, because why wouldn't you be standing in a hallway? It's a great place to be. You're standing in a hallway, and all the way across the 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 the, the eastern wall oh. are, well, they're 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 amber statues that almost look like honey, and they're made of familiars, you'd guess, since they're all random animals. Oh. Some of them have fallen off their perches, oh. which is kind of sad. I put them back in their place. You feel bad about yourself. Hmm. So, weird. Amber totems of familiars. Yes. There are plenty of doors to explore. There's the main hall, and it's so dark, god dang. It's like you so look at yourself, like and you're just covered in blackness. Hmm. But yeah, can they see my blue eyes? Okay, well, there's a door over here. Sure, you can explore a door if you think that's a clever idea. Hmm. The door well, had, a lock, door had a lock, but as you push against it, it just kind of falls off its hinges. Hmm. Flimsy. Yeah, oh, you yeah. feel kind of sad about it. Uh, you see amber coffins. Some of them are ingrained oh. with odd veins, and they pulse with energy. They invite you in to listen. Uh, hello? Nothing speaks. Uh, you wanna modify my token so that I can... What? See. Technically speaking, your token has sight. Uh, well... I must be doing something wrong then. Yeah, like for all intents and purposes, I can see the light source your character is emitting when I use control L to check. Not to mention um, the fact that Ogre is also a light source. You know what? I feel like that the one on the map isn't actually. Let me just double check. This is Netta, controlled by Netta. Do Kira and Ogre touch any of these mysterious coffins? Because that's what it looks like on my end. Cool. I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Can you see? No. <sighs> You not even see ogre stuff, because ogre is emitting. Just... Okay, let me just click this on. Me, I apparently Kira is also seeming to emit light, but I don't see that. So I guess Kira those does not are light. Well, if I, well, just post try it reloading the page, Nada. Screenshot where he looks like he's emitting light. Uh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> but... Reload the page. Uh, okay, okay, I'm doing that. Uh, let, let me put myself next to Neda. Let's see if this changes anything. So what are the two who are able to see and do their jobs correctly doing in this collapsed section of the of the hallway? As they peer into... Well, it looks pretty creepy! These, these spooky ghost ghast things crawling around. Uh, Pan, do you have any... A way spell that we just could throw in there as a surprise one. <laughs> uh, I can fog cloud him. We could just get some buffs before we head in, but beyond that, 
I have hunger so far. My work. I mean, if if uh, I mean the door is kind of small, so basically we just pull them and then kill them off one by one by the door. I mean, if you shoot hunger of Adar in there without activating them, they would probably just scurry around in a panic if the door is closed. <laughs> <laughs> like that sounds a, like fun. Don't underestimate the power of just filling a room with poison gas and having them die. You mean a uh, tower with poison gas? Yeah, I'm, I'm just or saying. I'm just saying this might be a situation where uh, cowardly tactics are very efficient. Yeah, then let's do that. I mean, people we can say cast hangers of Ada in and then close the door. People like to say that heroes are all about fighting people tooth and nail, but they forget that the Odyssey heroes are ninety percent cowards who use tricks. Hey, it all works. Well, you so shut the room, and it will take about a minute before the before the room's done. But hey, you get to hear the lovely sound of these creatures slowly but surely. Well, you don't want to think about that too much. Uh, maybe I won't. Ah. <laughs> Well, Ogre, you're in the room. Let's play a quick game of Go Fish while that's going on. <laughs> got, got any threes? I, uh, try, like, uh, what's the thing? Like, try to wipe the surface of this amber thing, see if I can, uh, like, see any, like, check if there's any dust on it, so I can appear inside, maybe. You touch the sarcophagus. Mm. Unfortunately, I clicked the thing, so it pushed me somewhere I didn't want to go. Ain't that a hoot and a half? You are in room. Okay, you're in that room. You are touching the eastern sarcophagus. As you put your hand across it, you hear a strange voice, and it beckons you. It, it offers you the service of its two most loyal hounds. If you accept its gift. I... I... I like dogs. Pup time. Yeah, boy. Um, well, do, do I need to do something? No, you have to accept the darkness. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't sound too bad. You get two on dogs. On one hand, darkness. On the other hand, dogs. On one end, popos. On the other hand, hmm. Well, uh, how bad can it be? It's... It's dogs. Alright. Mm -hmm. Can I get a charisma saving throw? Charisma saving throw, which I have a zero in. As a 60. In that case, my good, my good sir, my good friend, my buddy old pal, old chum old friend. Um... You can now speak and understand Infernal, if you don't already Ooh. know it. Um, nope. You emit smoke, but on the plus side, you feel like you mm. have the power to summon two hellhounds whenever you wish. That'd be nice. Heck yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> sparking and smoking. I'm an electrical hazard. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a broken PowerPoint. You need to get that checked out, <laughs> buddy boy. Anyone know a good electrician? Okay. Proficiency. And then... When and... people visit... Oh! Everything became light all of a sudden. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out a way for Neda to see again. Since apparently their light isn't consistent with what I'm seeing. Uh, it worked. Now it's just unlimited, which is probably not fair. Can you still see? Uh, yeah, and it's like limited to a... Uh, let's okay. see. Apparently switching global illumination on and off again is a trick that works. Yep, it's like pretty bright up to 45 feet for some reason. But it ends at 60 like it should. Well, Ogre, you can summon those hounds whenever you want. 
as an action. Oh. Uh, who who granted this? Like, did did I get a name? Oh, Ooh, else of course, but Sariach, the Hellhound Whisperer, the one who makes all the fiendish. You will see for yourself. Hmm. Why did you spook that in Strat's voice? Who knows? It's just the spooky evil voice. <laughs> ah, okay. I grew up in the same town. Okay, everyone up in the northeast, you've got rid of the gas, you can wander on in if you want. Nice! I'll, I'll, I'll remove them from the map, they're all dead. Blech. Yeah, well, there are a lot more than I thought there was. Yeah, there were plenty. There was a room full of them. They would have killed the shit out of you. Yeah! They inflict paralysis <laughs> when they hit you, you know? There are three what? sarcophaguses in this room, they are all made of amber, they look pretty. Why not give them a touch? Three, come! Can you uh, uh, describe the uh, sarcophagi? Um, the sarcophagi, um, the one to the north, it appears to have an eye spider or something engraved upon it. The one to the east Ooh. has, uh, many, many teeth. Nom nom nom. The one to the oh, south... Oh god. Sounds like hung off for that, I touch it. The one to the south, uh, you don't know, but it feels like a charming casket. Mm. You just feel the charisma oozing from it, trying to seep into your bones. Ooh. I like spiders. Um gonna touch the east one. You touch the east one? You hear a yeah. gnashing voice that sounds like it has too many teeth to speak properly. It requests to know who has sought, has sought the services of Dolvanor. He of many yes. teeth. God, I can Some... just feel the saliva. I can give you the power of many lives. Death. Sounds great! Yes, indeed. I can give you not just one extra life, but many. What's the catch? What catch could I possibly request but your teeth? <laughs> you will gain like... your teeth when you lose your final life and come back for the final time. But until then, your teeth are mine. What a bargain. Yeah. You get no teeth, but you get to live. Although, Sounds good to me. Although no specifics were given on how you come back to life. That's not important. Another try is good. a cockroach. Oh no, who cares? A cockroach without any teeth. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, cockroaches is terrible. About as bad as 40 pies being stolen. Yeah, well, I'm gonna accept that gift. You put your hand down, and your teeth fall from your mouth and vanish. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to talk or negotiate. But in return, you'll be reincarnated up to three times whenever you die. Ooh. Not when you're dying, when you die, die. So... Your mouth feels nope. very weird now that there's no teeth in it. Very empty and hollow and kind of, kind of, kind of, ugh, sensitive. Well, there's a sound effect for you. <laughs> you don't get to keep the one tooth, I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Is there anything else you want to do in this exciting room? There's a north sarcophagus and a south sarcophagus. The south one is just gleaming that energetic charisma. The one to the north has spiders. Ooh. I want to have a look at the spider one. Spiders I like how you're going cool. for the ones that are like legitimately evil and spooky, and the one that's just like nice, you're like, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Hey, I like spiders. I'm Australian. What do you, what do you the want from me? spider one hisses at you. I am Drifflash, the nine-night spider. You sound a lot like the other guy. Who seeks my service as a vestige? <laughs> Hi, my name's Pan. Pan, do you wish that gravity no longer affected your life? That every wall was a floor for you to walk upon? Not if, wouldn't that mean I just fly into the sun? No. You can touch any surface and walk across it as if it was the floor under your feet. Well, that sounds kind of neat. Indeed. 
What, what's the catch? Oh, the squinch. I give only the greatest of gifts. Yeah, I... Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound... That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Uh... Okay, what the hell? Spider... You got a deal, Spider-Man. You gain permanent spider climb. Although, whenever you touch the surface, gravity reorients itself for you. If you release the surface, gravity goes right back to normal, though. Um, you grow no, two extra eat. eyes on each side and one on the center of your forehead. Oh, hell yeah, I got spider eyes. You see in many dimensions now. Heck yeah. Honestly, it's making you kind of dizzy. <laughs> As Ogre examines the other coffins, allow me to explain to you what they are. They're spooky coffins. But I will tell you the exact type of spooky. The one to the west. Um, kind of oblivion-y. Looks kind of, oof, painful. Ouch. Oof. Ugh. And the one to the south. Um, ooh, it just makes your eyes a bit blurry. It's like it's constantly shifting. It's hard to get a bead on this one. Bust a move, baby. Oh, no. Belmore missed it. Okay, we'll tell him in a minute. The Belmore classic. Ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah. Belmore restarting router is, is, is his catchphrase. <laughs> Just frame that and put it on the wall in this it's, chat. It's, it's like he shows up on, on, the, on the sitcom stage like, I'm restarting router. <laughs> Audience just starts clapping. If you can't pin the message, you're starting. You're starting. Ba -da -ba 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 the Hellhound Whisper. It's a casket flanked by Hellhounds. Spooky. Well, uh, uh no more. No. Here? Yeah, I, I am now. The West Sarcophagus Hooray. looks like oblivion, like death and destruction. The South one South. is, let's just say that looking at it, it's hard. It, it's like it doesn't want to be seen, evasive, and such. Mm. Whoosh, whoosh. Okay. I mean, you can touch these without being forced to take their offer. This is making offers. It'd be nice. They're giving you a choice. Yeah. That that is very true. So let's see what see what this this one has to offer. I am Vaughn, the evasive. I am known for being impossible to pin, impossible to catch. Mm. Do you wish mm. to gain a fraction of my power? Eh, not really my style. Shame, but of course, you are far too obvious to gain even the slightest of benefits. Uh, very much so. Bye. Uh, oh. The one to the west, you give it a touch-touch. Mm -hmm. Give it a pat-pat, pat-pat, <laughs> you rub your hands on it. Yeah. I am Norganoth, <coughs> a finger of oblivion. Right. That's hell on my throat, especially when it's already this dry. Yeah, Jesus. I can hold hurt power yourself. To end any life and bring them into your service. Hmm. Essentially, finger of death like. They die, you get a zombie hmm. friend. Hmm. But no, well, I... my power works but trice, and once it fails. You two may die. Ah. Uh, I already have a finger of death. It doesn't bring people back, but... Thanks for the offer. You mortals are far too... And as you stop touching it, it just fades out of your head. It's like you broke yeah. the line. It's like you're hanging up on a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, I'm like standing in a hallway all this on. time. Hallway, hallway. Yeah, what I cool see that... Yeah, I kind of can catch a glimpse of some nasty things behind that open door to the north. Oh, they're, so... just, they're just giving you an eye, like, ooh, oh, mm, oh, mm, oh. Oh, hello. Was, uh, was Ogre speaking out loud when he was touching nope. the stuff? Uh, but he can tell you of anything if, he, if he's willing to tell you. Hmm? Uh, what? Hello. Hello. So what are these? What are these strange things? What do they do? Oh, 
uh, well, the one uh, over here yeah, gave me the power to summon uh, puppies. Uh, the one to the <laughs> south. The one to the south says it can make you, I don't know, sneaky. And that one, that one, one over there might gives you a power that might kill you. Uh, that sounds pretty useful. I touched the south one. Another one comes to Vond. I am Vond the Evasive. Do you wish to evade? To escape all detection? To have even fire no grasp on your skin? That would definitely help me with my line of work. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Strange and shifty. Um, you can no longer be detected by any form of divination magic. Ooh. Which unfortunately also means that things like sending cannot find you. Uh -huh. Effectively, you are a magic dead zone for divination and crap. Um, you also Eat. every day gain three charges of special evasion juice. Shall we? Well, let's call it special evasion juice. <laughs> um, you can use this evasion juice to succeed a dexterity saving throw you failed. You regain 1d3 charges every day. It's a good okay, reason to get the evasion class feature. Um, the downside is, well, not just the whole being undetected by magic in a good, in a bad way kind of stuff. Um, you know, it, it'll be kind of hard for you to get anyone's attention as you are right now. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's just say you're at the bottom of anyone's priority queue when they have to make a decision. Well, it doesn't really change much. I've been on the bottom of the of the uh, okay. of the uh, initiative tree often. Oh, no, no, the creatures up there—they don't look dangerous. They just look more curious and kind of fearful. Mm -hmm. You may approach them at will. Okay, or you can go well. for any of the other doors on the side. Mmm, mini doors. Mmm, delicious doors. Yeah, there's quite a lot of them. Okay, well, if they don't look overly dangerous, I guess I can approach them myself. The creatures kind of skitter. Skitter, skitter. Um, well, they, 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 they try to read your mind, but they seem unable to. They're not quite used to their body, despite being in them for a while. They, they retreat. To behind the coffins when you get too close. There are coffins in here. Um, if you peek in, I can tell you what they look like. Yeah, I'm peeking in. The one to the west has an icy motif and a star in the, uh, atop of it. The one to the west... Oh, no, they're both labeled West Sarcophagus. Good job! Um, that's an arrow on my end. Uh, the East Sarcophagus also has a star motif. But it's more like uh, stars hidden behind clouds and nebulas. Hmm, secret. The one in the north appears to have shattered as if something broke from inside out. Well... Um, so, Funtime Gang was over in the east. Do you want to go downstairs somewhere else? Because you can't access the rest of the floor from here. Let's back up. Where do you want to go? Yeah, um, I guess. Which stairs do you want to use? Do you want to use the main hall stairways or the secret staircase you know yeah. you took? Okay, I'll teleport you in a second. Please do not move your care. Oh! Oh! I forgot. Is it still update on drop or not? Ah, oh, I don't know. You're all the way uh... east now. Ah! Oh, hello. I... Ogre, this door is not locked. You can just kick it in if you want. Yep. I'm just, I thought uh, we would take the main stairs. Okay. Uh, Maybe I'll go down the door just refuels a bedroom that has been ransacked as far as possible. Even mm. the, the seat and the mattress have been cut open in many ways. Hmm. Oh. Somebody, somebody was through here. Hmm. Honestly, it's kind of weird walking through this place with all the darkness that's surrounding you. Ugh. Mm. Like pushing through fog uh, the whole time. <clears throat> Uh, I'll knock on the walls, see if there's any. Um, the wall to the north oh. is, sounds like there's a room immediately behind it, but that might just be the room you saw with the other door. Oh, right. Well, I'll go have a look-see there, then, if the door's locked. Yeah. 
This particular room is locked. Shit's locked. Well, <laughs> really? Yes. Is this every problem for me? Gave me that. Uh, <laughs> Show me the goods. Uh, how do I roll the thieves' tools? You, uh, go to the weapon, no, the tool proficiency thing on the. You may use uh, intelligence or dexterity. Left side. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. This rolling of dexterity. Well, you managed to click the lock open after a few minutes. In the meantime, everyone else can do what they want. Ogre. Do you wish to open this room too? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. I. Uh, the hmm. furnitures in this room are flying around. <laughs> what? The oh. furniture in this room is flying around. Well, interesting. Yes. Uh, it looks dangerous. Does it? <laughs> I mean, it's it's furniture flying around. That's not how that's supposed to be. Hmm. Are they flying around threateningly, or are they just? You know, floating in the air. Um, they will start flying towards you if you enter the room. Mm. <coughs> Sounds okay. like poltergeist to me. I pull out my sword. You pull out your sword. What do you wish to do? The furniture is flying at you. I wish to deflect said furniture. With you smash my sword. the furniture as it comes at you. But is this freaking Zelda where the floor tiles are flying against? <laughs> To be honest, it's not that hard to stop the furniture since it's all old and rusty. So, kind of thought so. Uh, do I roll something? Nope. This is for yeah, you. Okay. Easy. You're a barbarian. You can take it. Any splinters that fly just bounce off your magnificent chest. Yeah. My smoking chest. To be fair, you can't see any like ghosts or anything that could be banished. This appears to be just kind of happening. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I just. Smashing furniture, happy as can be. You smash all the furniture, and eventually mm. you come across a spell scroll, which is the only item around here that doesn't isn't brought to splinters by now. Uh -huh. Paper. The scroll has been labeled emergency use only. Well, <laughs> that's I... always good to see. Yes. Crap. Mm. <laughs> I. I probably can't use spell scrolls. You can. This one, if opened, contains instructions for the layman to use it. But you're pretty oh. sure that if it's labeled emergency use only, you don't want to just use this for kicks. Emergency Unless it's a taunt. Who knows? As Netta okay. has picked the lock on the door to the north, they can look into a room. The West Sarcophagus. This is the wrong entry. The West Sarcophagus. <laughs> Some, something's going on it in the north one. five heads though. on it. Gotta pretend I didn't see it. <laughs> the one to the south. The, the, the five heads and you look kind of strong, you know. The one to the south looks monstrous, but he looks sturdy. You can't help but feel they would take great strength to destroy him. The one to the north, however, is an eye. But it's shadowy and mysterious looking. Ooh. Hmm. Now, as you enter the room, Unfortunately for you, you get smacked. Out of the blue! It's a greatsword. You have no idea what just happened until you notice that it's probably invisible. That's a great deduction to make. It rolls the first attack with advantage, and the other two it will roll normally. As it just hammers into the first person into the room. Which would be our good friend, Netta. Uh, Hello. Right. It's a desk lot. Why is he medium? I thought these things were large. Huh. Get a lot oh, no, of that that, no, 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 I'm thinking blue slots. Those are those are large. Well, so everyone give me some sexy my... initiative. Look at that big goofy grin. He's so, so handy. my AC is 15, and I just took like... Look at this uh... happy boy. Yeah. Yeah, Get a lot of that boy. Good... Get, a salad. Get a load of that dog, as they say. And a lot of it. Okay, I need to move around for initiative here. You're all old entries. Uh, by the way, do, does the scroll say what the spell is? Just that it's for emergencies. Hmm. Okay. Don't forget, it's just a very fancy fire extinguisher. 
So we just kind of die, I guess. Essentially. Yeah. Bye. Ogre just hears Neto's death scream as he's having a great time. Oh. Well, once I start hearing shouting, I'm going to sa saunter over. Oh man, all this furniture is great. So, what happens when I go to negative hit points exactly? I want you to roll me some death saving throws. Uh, do you just click the death saves? Yes, they will automatically roll. That's one failure. Check one failure. Check a checkbox. Kira. Hey. That thing looks mean! And it just beat up your friend in like one hit. Well, one set of hits. Uh. Uh, there's not much I can do from this distance, so I'm going to uh Why not? You're throw a danger. And Oh whoops, I had favorite enemy on. Oh I don't think it <coughs> make a difference. You do not hit it. Its scales are too tough. For such a flimsy blow. Uger uh, uh, moment. Let's... I'll say that you can rush in since you probably didn't just gormlessly stand in that room the whole time. Hmm. Well, maybe. I did want to try one of those dehydrated potions. Which one do you wish to quickly fill up and, sh and chug? Well, well, actually, I said I would randomly roll on this table what would happen. So, sure. Yeah. <laughs> roll me up a potion. That's roll right. me up a d100. And I will tell you exactly which effect it is. Road and bones. Oh my, 97. 97. Oh. Well, uh. <laughs> you're pretty sure that this potion would help preserve something rotting, decaying, or dying. Well, I'm maybe may partially that. Can you roll me another D100? Uh, okay. 60. It will, however, make that person... S unable to sleep for a day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, Great. Yeah. But hey. I... I drank a highly caffeinated potion of gentle repose. Now, you're, you're aware of the effect when you finish mixing it. <laughs> so you can pour it and use it on whatever. Ah, yeah. But I still taste a little bit of it. Yes. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Ooh, you feel that zest. Mmm. It's just a potion of Red Bull. <laughs> oh, hey, guess guess whose turn it is? It's this guy's turn. Hello. Oh there. no. No advantage, but it does go for Skamos. Okay. Oh no, Skamos. Oh, it hits me twice. He kind of laughs. Ha ha ha. I have medium armor masses, so I take less damage. Awesome. You'll need it. Um, how many was it again? Let me check. I think the armor damage that to take is reduced by one. Okay. So I take once. Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> once 22 of them. And once. 21. This is not <laughs> Pan. That's me. Uh, the creature is a good news, Netta, because I have Healer, which is a very big text thing, which means I can try to stabilize the dying person. Which is a... That is if you don't have a healer's medicine. kit. So don't forget, healer's kits make it automatic. Yeah, I don't have a healer's kit. I have, an, I have alchemist supplies. So... It's the best I can do. Wait, wait. So you need to beat a 5? Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Five. Five. You're stable. So you're just gonna be lying around until someone slaps you with a heal. Okay. Or some preservative goo. I don't know. Okay. At least you're not dead. That's gonna yeah. scoot back. Scam drag me out when you feel like it. Yoink. Can I drag her back when I do that? 
Skamos. I'm thinking what to do. <laughs> oh. Could you use... Mm. I wanna cast Armor of Agatha, it's the second level spell. Me. Ooh. What does it do? If I remember correctly, I get some uh, temporary hit points. Let me check. Yeah, temporary hit points mm. and a creature who attack you get cold damage. All right, cool. That's one action. Yes. I know that spell very well. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah. Basically, the only thing I can do for now. Cool. If I if I don't wanna take an opportunity at uh... fellas, we got company. So yeah, I was just gonna. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna stay. I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna stay here, and that may be die. I don't know. Sure. Uh, the Lothics have moved into the main hallway, and they just seem to be staring at the large death slot, who has earned his name quite well. What do you do? I, uh... Can you trust these eyeballs? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, well, this big baddie nearly took out two of our guys in... One attack. In so I think I'll target it. I mean, he has a big sword. What do you want? What do you want to do? He's got a big sword. It's um, sword time. I don't know why you have disadvantage, but you hit him. Because you Kill. don't have disadvantage. Oh. Fifteen. Big bullet. The bullet wedges itself into its scales. <laughs> It says something. You presume it's saying something about the joy of tearing you apart bit by bit. Lovely! Boy, this sure is going swell! In fact, it does just that. Scamble should get an attack of opportunity as the Zogar, as it just goes straight up to Kira. Okay. Yeah. Roll me those attacks if you want to take them. Yes, give me a second. There we go. Amazing! This creature has no fear of any of you. As it walks right up to Kira. I mean, it did obliterate one of us in one go. I kind of, you know. No way. And it doesn't use its big That's sword. the time. Grass ogre. Instead, it tries to grab Kira. And then grab again. And then it will take a bite out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Fun times. Ogre, do you not make an attack opportunity on him? Uh, oh, he passed me by? Yes! Yeah, okay. Yes. You can't go there without passing you by. You're kind of in the way. Whack. Whack. That's a nice whack. That give, him, give his booty a big old smack as he it's walks His wounds by. are slowly but surely healing. Mm. He can't yeah. beat the shit out of Kira without getting closer. Kira, don't forget, well, you just took a lot of damage there. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to reach, and... Uh. He, he gets zap. Awesome. awesome. He's unaffected by it. For now, at least. Mm. That, that doesn't really do much. Okay. Reckless. <laughs> Oops. That that's not reckless. Like... That's yeah. normal. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Just throw me out of the attack and then roll the rest as normal. Okay. Yeah. That's that. And, that's and then smack and blow. Wham. Now there's some good damage. You see, this is why you got this guy on your team. <laughs> Pan. Uh, am I able to heal Netta back into fighting? F Any form? healing will immediately undo the dying status. Okay. Like, and you don't go to uh, negative. You go to zero. And once you're above zero, you go back into action. Go back in 
you are now at 13 health, Netta, and you're back in fighting shape. Scammer, right. that guy walked by you with no concern to your being. So... You're back, uh, Netta. Yeah. It's that straightforward. Last time... Yeah, last time we rolled initiative, it was... Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, man. Many no fakes. So let those guys... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have some spectators. Let's just move up to the scalp thing, or how it's called again. Because I don't have any spell slots left, so that's the best thing I can do. Sure, go nuts. That's a solid bloke. And second attack. There you go, there's the team I know and love. Double spicy. You should hit me. I mean I'm I gonna revive once. The Nothics scurry off. Ah <laughs> Get out of here! The scared as this thing actually came after them. We're like, ah, easy pickings, but nope. Uh slot will slash at one of them. And the creature sort of limps away. Ich. Oh. Netta, you're back in fighting best. shape. You can kill this thing before it does what it's... Cause it's, got a, it's got a big, cheesy grin. As if it's planning something <laughs> very mean. Okay, so... Uh... Hmm... Like, I want to... hide before I attack so that I have the vent on the attack. So can I like? I'm going to fluff it as I'm small. So I just kind of break the slads line of sight by running like behind and below Scam's legs. Go nuts! Just roll that hit. You want to roll that oh, stealth? Oh, you're first. stealth. Okay, you're sneaky now. Yeah. I mean, I hope that's enough to... Sure. Yeah, so now he rolled my attack with advantage. Probably. I mean, I hope so, because that would be cool. Nope. Well, actually, your original hit still hits, so yes. Lovely. Because it has a passive perception, is 18. Hmm. Well, Plus, I'd like to think just it probably to wasn't it. paying. Kira, do something. It's about to pop a big, big, big ulcer or something. Like uh, I think it's about time I use paying. that oil of sharpness. Gonna sure. dust it all over my short. That is your action. All right. Uh oh. You take your yeah. action to oil up your sword, nice and shiny. It gives a wide grin as its turn comes around. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I was scared. Ya. It explodes oh. with fire. Yeah. Oof! It does take 15 damage from it, though. Although, it only takes 5 since it recovers its health. Everyone roll me some deck saves as it just blows itself up and everyone else around it. Yeah. Heck yeah! Pan takes half. <sighs> Don't backflip. Dude, did I fail? Yes, the DC is right up there. And I'd like to roll again, please. <laughs> okay, so you don't re-roll. Come you just, on! You don't re-roll. You auto succeed. Oh, I just posted it. Sorry, I misunderstood. <sighs> so I take fifteen, but that's still enough to drop me back to zero. Okay. And... As the room is nice and nice and crisp. <laughs> <laughs> so I take half damage, what? <clears throat> No, sure. Okay, that That's means right. 15. Scorch. So, minus 10. My tempo will hit point. Does he get hit by armor of Agis now, I wonder? Let me check. That's only on, I think, weapon attacks or melee attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah. checked. Okay, all right. Man, that sled is smart. I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm still ready to go. <laughs> Ogre. Finish him off. You can probably kill him with this blow. Yep. 
Ah, I'm smoking a little bit more now. You're nice and crisp around the edges. Mmm. Curse-slam! So that's a big boy. Bring the pain down. Uh, is, it, is it still twitching? Um, as it casts the fireball and it's gloating as much as it can, you just smack it right in the back of the head. Yeah. And it, it hits the ground. Its body twitches, but in the usual way, bodies twitch when some remaining brain functions are active. Hmm. Well, I, I give it a couple more slashes just in case. You decide to take the safe route. What a hero! You you slam Where? your sword into its into its lifeless body, finding very little issue to cleave it to pieces. Mm -hmm. You can now inspect the room he was in. And after that, maybe take a break, which we'll schedule in general. Oof. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I so... think I already explained what was in the West Room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm dead again. Who wants to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I got it. So, yes. Do I business. roll my save again or what? Uh, provided that. Uh, pan, 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 make sure you're fine. You don't have to roll anything. Okay. Your, your failures and successes go away whenever you go back to any sort of human. <laughs> Ogre, you're in the room. You see the eye, the the the. F what? Let me make sure that I got this one right. You see the eye with the shadows. Spooky. The five-headed, uh, big guy, and um, the invincible thing. Who knows what it is? It looks invincible. Okay, I approach the invincible looking thing. Uh, however, that manifest itself it's 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 like many many tentacles and plates Ooh. Ooh. i am yog the invincible none <laughs> ever conquered me <laughs> do you okay. wish to partake in my glory how many spells have you cast so far belmore uh, what oh yog right <laughs> <laughs> what What's the joke? Uh, is that World of Warcraft or Hearthstone? Oh no. Related. No! What was the name of it? Yog. Yeah. Yog Savon. Yog Savon. Well, that wasn't intentional, but who knows? <laughs> I can offer you great durability, strength beyond measure. That all sounds good. Indeed. Let my gift flow into you. Do you uh, let his gift flow into you? Bring it, big man. Tentacles sprout from your head in sort of a haircut kind of way, like slicked back. You gain 30 <laughs> permanent hit points. Oh, shit. Hit point He's an Asari now. Up by 30. Ooh. Your body feels a bit spongier and oilier, like you're one big sort of tentacle thing, but hey, you feel like you could take a lot more uh, punishment before you go down. So I just increase my... Current by 30. Current maximum. Current and maximum. Wow. All right. You go up to 98 then. Yeah. Ooh. All this power is awesome. A few hours if you wish to go into conquest, I would greatly recommend the great Tarak, the five headed destroyer. His casket is over there. His strength oh. his strength is great. Oh. Th thanks for the tip. Uh, slightly wobbly as I ugh. You're not that wobbly, you just, you just feel just a pinch softer than you're used to. Yeah. But somehow more huggable. Heck yeah. You touch the coffin and you hear a loud and boisterous voice. I am the great Tarhawk, the five-headed destroyer. Entire planes have fallen before me. And who do you think you are <laughs> standing before me? Uh, I'm Ogu. <laughs> uh, that is quite the name for someone as small as you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, got him. When I walked your plane, I was the size of buildings. Ooh, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. 
And yeah, uh, outside, you're... I can lend you a fraction of my strength, and with it, you too can perhaps lift those things and make me proud. Uh, okay. I, I, I like being big, big and strong. Yes, yes. Let my power flow into your veins. Oh, that's spicy! If you let it in, it will be very spicy. But the benefits are very good. Okay, well, you take it. Bring it. You feel raw power surging through your veins. Oh, you're so strong. You feel like you could lift buildings. Your strength oh, no. becomes 25. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Maximum oh. beef. However, Whammo. you feel that whenever someone has done a wrong, you must utterly and totally annihilate them, chop their corpses into pieces, and show them what justice is. Okay. Uh, the arrogance, so... the evil, shall not live! You know, that yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> so, You see his uh... ogre becomes tentacly spongy and super buff, and he's like, yeah! <laughs> This is steroids, people. <laughs> uh, where was the sarcophagi again with the... The eye? Star of... The star? Something. Uh, there were two stars. North there was a star of... Mm -hmm. There was a, a star that looked with an ice motif, and a star with uh, s that looked a bit secretive. Like hidden and spooky. Ooh. Did yeah, somebody the take the eye No. No. No one went to the throne yet. At all. Uh, uh, it's one to the mm. north. Ah, uh, those Nothics. No, the Nothics are kind of are cowering in a corner. They're not, they're not, they're not going to get in the way of anything. Uh, also, before Skamos runs off, I'm just going to do a, a quick little heal wounds on him. Yeah, you're going to take a break in a bit, mostly because the session's almost over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, oh, Skamos. Uh, regardless. The, 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 the ice Ogre, what do you want? Uh, what was the name of that last one? Um, The one you just talked to was Great... Tar Hawk, the five headed destroyer. Sounds like the name of a bionicle. It does. It's got those Great big top. vowels. Yeah. yeah. Okay, big I'm not going to tell you. Like I expected. Okay. I expected Ogre growing two heads now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ogre may grow multiple heads, but he does look a little bit more draconic in a weird way. Ooh. I don't know, there's something about him that's just very impressive and awe inspiring. I mean, I mean, he's, he's now of... like a massive demon Frankenstein's monster he's tentacle. Smoke and lightning. Yeah, like <laughs> so... he's interesting looking. I'll put it that way. So... Kira, <laughs> you wanted to... or Skamos, One of you wanted to see another sarcophagus. Uh, yeah, I want to touch the the self. Was... All right, you want to touch the 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 which one? The west or south or east? The, the ice one. There are... I don't know which okay, one. Okay, the eyes one is, is this one. The one in the north in, in the room Ogre was in a second ago. And this one. Um, as you put your hand across it, you hear a very quiet, whispering voice. Not unlike Great Tar Hawk. This is a very subtle voice. I am Ilka, the Eye of Shadows. Do you wish to see everything as it is, instead of what people want you? Uh, it's essentially 62 seconds. Looking... Yeah, but wasn't I looking for the ice star one? This is the eye. Is... Oh, you're looking for the star. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The star of secrets or the star of ice and hate? Ice. The pro. The, yeah, the second. The star of, of ice and hate is over here, to the west. Sounds great. I want to take that one. Shivering voice <laughs> speaks to thee. Oh, you and Elbaan, the star of ice. And hate. Long ago, I loved and I was warm, but I was betrayed by so many I grew cold and froze my very land. And now, I give such power to others. Man, it's Elder. Yeah, he's a frosty boy. Frosty. <laughs> Ogre is just one hell of a guy. I can give you the power. Let cold be your greatest ally. <laughs> Sounds good to me, let's take it. 
You gain the following downside. Oh no! You are terrified of fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your pyrophobia is crippling. Okay. But so, uh, in return, on. you are completely immune to cold damage. You are. Never affected by cold weather. Like, if something's cold, you're like, what are you talking about? It's cold. It's fine. <laughs> you can also cast Cone of Cold as an action. Three times a day, whenever you want. Okay. Your, warlock, your patron, however, is kind of pissed. <laughs> but what? <laughs> You're taking services from it's other. Oh, dare you! Oh, dare you. <laughs> Baka! Baka! You've run off. <laughs> You're cheating on me. <laughs> but, uh, I have a problem right now. Yes. If I am terrified of fire, can I even use my flame? Um, Probably not. Um... <laughs> no. Hmm. You hate Who that wants thing? my flame tongue? I don't oh, want it. Who it wants this? No, you drop it in, in panic and just run away. That's how that works. Or you throw it away or something. It's not on fire yet. Okay, well you can keep it off fire and it will still be a good magic weapon at least. Yeah, but I can also summon a magic you know weapon what? and it's... You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what, my dear my dear friend Scamels? How about we make this a little bit of a dice roll? How about you roll me some arcana? Some... <laughs> okay, well... Um, good. Let's uh, see... Ooh. All right. So, so th the weapon, um, yeah. Um. <laughs> turns it into fire elements. <sighs> no, not really. No, not it just turns into a, a frost brand. Frost. So it's essentially similar to what you had, but it's cold damage. Um, the downside is it will downside extinguish any fire that's fire. not magical within 30 feet of you continuously. Okay. And everyone nearby, yeah. and anyone within like a ten to twenty foot radius of you finds it uncomfortably cold. I mean, um, <laughs> turning I mean, that... out fire because I am scared of fire, so that's perfectly fine to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you are not affected yeah, by the sword, but this. pretty much anyone, if they would try to hold it with their bare skin, they would get stuck. They would get frozen to it. That's how cold. This I'm, <laughs> I'm already seeing it. Next time we may take a break. Everybody is the fire. Out. I am. At the first point of way, I'm just sitting there alone with my freaking sword at the corner. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna write that down then. I'm just gonna change my flame tongue to a frost tongue or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. The wavy effect doesn't look as cool. There are still two more collections of caskets to be found if you guys want to get frisky. <laughs> They're over on the other side where you haven't gone yet. And after that, who knows? Hmm. After that, taking After a break. That. But hey, it's up to you guys. Hey. You can take a break now and see what about those other runs next time as you think about the mistakes you've made. What mistakes? Yeah, I think a break. Might be <laughs> oh, who fun. knows? I'm Not like this will ever go against you in more ways than I've already explained so far. I want you to all, the, by the way, to write somewhere on your sheet how many dark gifts you've accepted. It won't be relevant ever. Trust me. I'm um, writing them all down at the features and traits list, so... Yeah, I forgot yeah. the name of the... Okay, uh, the guy in the south chamber. Yes. Let me see if I can find him. I think it was Downed. Uh, no, Fond, the evasive. Oh. That's V-A-U-N-D. Yeah, what was the spider's... Spider, spider uh, guy name? The spider guy name. Spider, spider guy, spider guy. He's a spider, He's spider also a guy. Um, that um, was... Drizlash. D-R-I-Z... L A S H, H. the nine eyed spider, and they were nice. And they were. Yeah, that seemed like a pretty chill guy. Heck yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you that. accept eighteen gifts, then you kind of just collapse into a uh... oh, mega one. So let's see. Ogre has taken three gifts, and Scamels and Kira have both taken one. Two. Ooh, which what was the other one you take? Uh, the, I took the, the gift of Dal Verdar, the one where can die sometimes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, now, admittedly, that I mean, I'm surprised you didn't go for I the charisma go. casket, but sure, Mr. Charisma Caster. There was a charisma casket. I said there was a casket that that radiated charisma. 
just looking yeah, at but, it. But yeah, maybe <laughs> it went past it was, that it one. Was, it seemed to... You could just feel just the feel airborne it. winks. It seemed like some <laughs> paladin charisma, and I don't like that. I mean, the powers around here sure seem like great guys telling you to chop up the corpses of your enemies and stuff. Yeah, I think one gift is probably more than enough. One gift fucks you up more than you think. Two is great for me. Yeah. And three. <laughs> well, good job, buddy old pal, chum old friend. How many? Ogre's going to explode. <laughs> You're going to regret that Ogre's your DPS. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think um, that's honestly in the spirit of Curse of Strahd. So you said that uh, uh, Fostong turned uh, Axiom with any flames in 30 feet, right? Uh, we'll just say within like the 10 to 20 foot radius of the thing itself. You can turn it to higher or low stance, but either or it fires within that radius will extinguish as the cold is extremely uncomfortable okay. and starves fires instantly. Magical fire, on the other hand, ooh, gives you a spook. Even just continual flame, like anything that resembles fire can do it for you. Good like, thing I don't know fireball. Oh man, yeah, you would... Scam would be like, ah! Mommy! <laughs> oh, mama! Let's see, what kind it's of spells are here? Hmm. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh that's just... Mm. There's some fun ones you haven't seen yet. On top of the, 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 the big boys. But... You guys want to go to the last two chambers that are on this floor and accessible, or do you want to take a break? Call the session to quits. Kick up your feet and regret your life's decisions. <laughs> yeah, maybe probably. Take, maybe take a break so we can uh, possibly uh, get knit up back on her feet. Yes. During a long rest, everyone gets their full hit points back, all their resources back, everything gets glued back together. Netta will wake up yeah. and you'll see Ogre and you'll go, Okay, I have questions. <laughs> oh, uh, there's a bedroom we can use? That's... Yes. Yeah. You might want to bring up the beds from the upper floor, like where the, the bar berserkers were hanging out. Those those beds are in better shape than this one is. Yeah, that, that or point. you could go to your like castle, your little fortress outside. Your, your friends are still like, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could just yeah head out to the... The, wo the party problem home. is, you'll probably get berated by them for accepting dark gifts. <laughs> are you ready for that, or do you want to do that next session? Presuming next session goes smoothly. Anyway, we'll just call the quits. You guys are going to take a nap nap in the in the, the temple. Yep. Okay, long rest. Your friends outside stuff themselves with a few nice rations. They're having a great time. Uh, I assume Victor's going to poke at that skull. It's like, I'm going to use this thing. Although it's so frosty up here, he'll just get frostbite the second he goes anywhere. <laughs> next time. Right. Can, our, can our great heroes resist even greater powers being offered? Can they offer... <laughs> The greatest, can I resist the greatest possible powers being offered? Mm, oh. mm. Because there's some delicious ones mm, just waiting for you. You and your, mm, ooh, ooh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah. Maybe you'll make new friends. Maybe you'll make new enemies. Maybe you'll learn the mm. true meaning of friendship. <clears throat> Maybe you'll have to negotiate with a demon who doesn't like you. Maybe the hex bait patron of me doesn't like me anymore. Uh, your patron is gonna have to uh, is gonna make you do a lot of homework to make up for that. I'm gonna <laughs> say it's more part for us. <laughs> gonna do all the laundry for like a month. All the demon laundry. Laundry, no, please not because uh, laundry it's hot water. It's farm. I don't like it. The water will probably oh, freeze God. if you get too close with your sword. <laughs> yeah. That's not good for the clothes. Like you uh, wave your sword over it, and it's just frozen over. <laughs> Shit. Well, on the plus side, everybody wins in some way. Hooray. Neta kind of got the shaft done today. Or did she? I saved she the party. Say. I guess I deserve some karmic retribution for... Foiling the evil forces' plans to just have everyone stuck to the statue. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a great way to end the session. Next time on Curse of Strahd Z, stream ending in 3, 2, 1. Everyone say goodbye. <clears throat> no one wants to say goodbye. I see the dark powers have infested you all in some way. Yeah, we're all evil now. And the evil I'm is still not saying goodbye. Yeah.
plus six rudeness. Screw you, audience. <laughs> <laughs>